Welcome, everyone, to Cold Hard Witch. We are Lawful Stupid RPG, and we're thrilled to have you join us while we play through the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden module with some additions uh, sprinkled in. Uh, my name is Buddy, and I have taken over the DM seat to this adventure since Ryan, the FNDM, has too many real world commitments. Um, I do think that he may make some special guest appearances in the future, though, and he sends me about 75 awful puns every single day for exclusive use in this show. Mm. <laughs> and, I thought I was free. But and, and, and just, I thought I was just, free. Just to make Pike cringe. Uh, let's see who we have here tonight, shall we? Tonight we have Chael playing Delphina, our Asimar cleric. Rodney playing Flynn, the human Tempest cleric. Madeline playing Zalvana, our devilish Asimar bard. Pike playing Professor Reginald, our human warlock. And unfortunately, Ferial's player is unable to join us tonight. When we last left our party, <clears throat> they had been through quite an ordeal. They assumed the leadership of the Knights of the Black Sword, an organization based in Caer Deneval with a dubious agenda. For the moment, they want the party to eliminate a Durgar threat to the entirety of Icewind Dale, so uh, how bad could they be? They had been sent to Bremen, but without really clear instructions, so they did what any good adventurers do. They went to a bar and got into a fight with a bunch of ghosts. Uh, one, of which, one of which temporarily possessed the professor and left him in a catatonic state. The party found respite and a night's rest in the Buried Treasures Inn, where Cora Mulfoon told them about her son who had been taken by the Knights of the Black Sword. She made them some dinner and put them all to bed. The night passes uneventfully and, in fact, quite peacefully. That being said... Secret, secret, the professor. Oh, no. So if you're just joining us and, and, uh, and haven't been with us before or just don't remember, there's all sorts of secrets that go on here. And rather than just sharing them in a, uh, in, in a Discord chat or in a Zoom chat, we have everyone take their headphones off and then you guys get to hear it. Because <clears throat> it's more fun to lie to your friends. <laughs> professor, you're sitting at the bar in the Grumpy Moose Tavern, talking with Steve the bartender. You close your eyes for a moment, and when you open them, you're behind the bar, looking at your body sitting on a stool. Flynn and Fariel begin to back away, and then you watch yourself begin to fight them. Oh, you not again. You see but Zalvana appear, and then you watch your body fall to the floor, and your own sight goes black. You feel as though you're peacefully floating in some nebulous void, and your mind and senses seem to stretch out beyond comprehension. In the far distance of your consciousness, you hear Xander's voice. Professor, are, are you there? Uh, also in the distance, you hear Flynn's voice. Professor, Professor, are you still in there? Almost reflexively, you respond to him. Uh, uh, I'm busy. Uh, I'll be right back. You continue to float finally feeling at ease for the first time in what seems like forever. You begin to hear the sound of hammers on anvils working metal, and something that sounds like a growl or maybe the precursor to a roar. Suddenly you hear a familiar voice, crystal clear and absolutely present with you. Wake up, Reginald. There is still much to be done. Yeah. Am, I, am I sleeping? I mean, I kind of gave that up. I, I don't know what I don't know what happened. Mm. Yes, see that you do. Can I just? I don't. I do. I remember what waking up feels like. <laughs> Can I uh, attempt it's, to wake up? <laughs> it's a. It, it's. It is a little strange, uh, Professor. You. Uh, you awaken. Uh, you're on the floor, somewhat shoved into a closet. Uh, surrounded, right. surrounded by a circle of salt. Um, a as you begin to stir, you notice that everyone else is beginning to stir as well. Uh, you know, for the first sleep that I've had in, you know, probably weeks, 
it wasn't as great as I thought it would be. <laughs> are you are you good? Why well, am I in a closet? Possession. Yeah, the 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 the, the woman here who rented us the room thought it might be beneficial to put you in the closet and surround you in salt. Uh, I'm not super sure why. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um. Did one of you hit me? Did one of us hit him? Z we might have. <laughs> Z we might, Z we might Xander, have. truly not knowing, will will look kind of around at all of you. I I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you this, Doc. All right, there was there was ghosts involved. One of them got into you. Oh, yeah. Um, we we had to knock you out, and you get you, you you know for you're an old man, you take you take some some good hits. I'll yeah. Tell you that right now. Yeah, no, I have a terrible headache. Mm -hmm. That that that'll pass. Uh, yeah. What happened to I, Steve? Where's Steve? Who? Steve, the guy. Steve Mac, like normal human bartender. Oh, he's dead. Um. <laughs> oh. I he I ain't pretty sure he was dead the whole time. How many guys did you kill? I was only gone for like a minute. How many people did you kill, Flynn? There, were, there, were, there wasn't. No, we didn't. We didn't kill him. He was dead when we got there. Um, oh, there was. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why was he dead? Yeah. Why, when we yeah. got there, because there were brothers, and then there was some sort of like pact made with some ghost thing, and it all went to shit. And then we showed up, and we drank at the wrong bar, and then you got possessed by a ghost. Perfect. It's not. Person. It's not the worst night I've had, honestly. Okay. So, oh. Everyone, you all notice that that Fariel is still laying in bed and she's tossing a little bit. And uh, will all of you uh, just please be quiet? Oh. Is she possessed too. N no, oh. she's just. I think she's asleep. Sleepy. Mm. I say. I think I still have my walking stick around here somewhere if we need to knock her out. Let's. That'll be Plan D. We'll we'll come back to that later. All right. Um, yeah. You're good if, though. If you'll if you'll just shut up, you can hit me with your walking stick, Professor. And on that, you all hear you all <laughs> you all smell. Well, all right. You all smell something okay. uh, savory and delicious uh, coming from downstairs. Uh, it, it it's something that doesn't at all. Smell like fish. Oh, it's, it's Herrick back. <laughs> no, no, but I will I'm go downstairs. Because <laughs> I'm the cleric. Yeah, mm. yep, Delphi, you're the cleric. How's that going? How's that going for you? <laughs> <laughs> Delvana got her three hit points back. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. First week as a cleric, and she makes a pact with the devil. <laughs> Look, you make a pact with the devil one time and it's like <laughs> it's six or eternal or something. One time. <laughs> yes. Uh okay. All so right. you all uh you all head downstairs and uh you see uh in the kitchen is uh Cora Mulfoon and she is in there preparing breakfast and um it looks as though she's been up for a little while and kind of cleaning and and sprucing things up. Um, to be honest, she seems bright and happy and it, almost as though she enjoys being busy again. Uh, which which tavern are we in? Um, neither or none. There's five. We pick none of them. We're in Cora's place. Who's that? Who's oh, this? Is oh, this what, hell. This is, Hello, this is Cora. Oh, I, my, excuse me, ma'am. I'm sorry. My, my goodness, you you seem you look as though you're feeling much better. You're you're, you're not oh, limp I'm, and and on the floor. Well, that is better than average. Yes. Um, can I uh, can can I get you all some some breakfast? Yes, please. It's, that'd be wonderful. Thank you. Is this she, is this her house? 
Where am I? This well, is the, I, this is <laughs> yes, I, I, she can hear you because you're in the same room with her. Uh, I, I do live here, but uh, this is the Buried Treasures Inn. Uh, one of the basically only inns uh, here here in Bremen. Um, you all came in last night and, and just looked dreadful, but you, you're all very... Where is Fariel? Is that her name? Where, where's Fariel? Yes, she's still s- sleeping. Oh, ah, okay. Uh, sure. She begins to to serve you all um, plates of sausage and eggs. Uh, honestly, just like Herrick used to make. Um, mm. There's there's fresh butter and there's there's toast. This uh, this this is some of the last of the not fish supplies. Uh, but you uh, you all looked last night like like you could use a, a hearty meal. So I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to use it on you. Thank you. It's greatly um, appreciated. Do you have any lavender tea? Um, I let, let me check. And she will go start rooting around in some cabinets in the kitchen. <sighs> so. Yeah, I mean, there's Flynn, true to form, just like power, <laughs> power, and power in the food down. She, 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 she will, his butter is fresh. I'm just, <laughs> you, I don't think you're supposed to eat the entire butter stick. It's, it's on bread. I put okay. the stick on the bread. That's a whole stick. Hashtag butter sandwich. Sand- yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything is a sandwich. Oh, thank you. And I'll, I'll take some. I'll take like half the butter stick. <laughs> so, so you just you just put the whole. You put it and you wrap the bread around it. It's real good. <gasps> like this a bread what, taco. Exactly. It's, this is what keeps you warm on the cold days. You All know, right. I, I hadn't thought of it, but hashtag bread taco. I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, we're making all sorts of new foods up tonight on Cold Hard Witch. We've, right. we've, we've become a, a cooking show, apparently. If, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, she she comes back and, and tells you that she has found some and she's putting a pot of a, a kettle of water on to boil. And she notices the the butter gone and notices the the greasy smiles on Flynn and Delphina's face. She just shakes her head and goes and comes back with another little crock of uh, of butter. And she sets it much more close, more, much closer <laughs> to the professor and Zalvana, seeing that they are not like... greasy faced. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the professor needs it. It's nourishment, okay? He needs some blood on, or some fat on his bones. <laughs> blood on his bones? <laughs> like, blood on I his mean, friend. what? <laughs> One does need blood in their bones. They're sponges. Come on. <laughs> you all have terrible appetites. <laughs> At least we have an appetite. I suppose. As it's I not bad. Like, butter some toast and put it in his face. <laughs> well, I, I think you should put actually more than that because it tastes pretty good. I, I hold up my last bite of bread, bread taco. <laughs> uh, Three months I've waited for this, and this is <laughs> this is what you get. This is this is this is my penance. Uh, you uh, hold on. I've got to turn the music down just a little bit. It's Oh, I misspelled a bread. A little bit ruckus. Now it's a break taco. Yeah, now it's a break taco because I couldn't spell bread. <laughs> <laughs> a breako? What's a breako? Mm. Um, mm-hmm. you, uh, you, you all hear the front door open, and uh, in walks a, a figure like everyone else, covered in cold winter clothing. Uh, the figure pulls back a hood, and and you see a a pale face, a pale half elven face. Uh, morning, Cora. Uh, to Lee. Good morning. Uh, to what do I owe such an early visit? Well, I wanted to see if I could talk to your overnight guests. Uh, uh, and she comes right to the table, and Cora brings her a, a plate and a cup of coffee. Uh, uh, hi, I'm uh, I, I'm I'm Tilly, uh, and I'm I'm studying the the local animal life here in, in Icewind Dale. At, I saw Grinsk try to get you to go fishing last night, but but you all ran off before I could catch up to you. Oh, I 
I'm sorry. I tried to help him, but I think everybody wanted to sleep first, and then we wound up fighting some ghosts, and now we're here. Goats. Pleased to meet you, miss. You ghosts. were fighting goats? Like, you know, ooh. I got possessed. Oh. She she pulls out her journal and, and, and scribbles very curiously into her journal. Um, oh, well. Wonderful. Excellent. I keep copious notes as well. And I'll pull out my journal. Be like, uh, <laughs> see, this is you. Tali. T T A L I. Tali. Tali. Got it. Yes. Uh, well, uh, there have been um, several, several reports uh, of some sort of creature in in Meridwalden attacking fishing parties, and I've been doing some investigating and and found that only the boats from Bremen. Uh, were vessels to suffer these attacks. None, none of the other, none of the other cities, uh, Tourmaline or, or Targos, their boats are never targeted. Um, I've been frequenting the docks to warn any uninformed people looking to venture out on the lake about the danger, and to warn anyone that Grinsk tries to hire to to be careful. Is there anything special about the Bremenese ships? Um. She'll flip back through her journal. Uh, they pretty much look the same as, as all of the others. Um, I, I, they're not even really marked, so I don't know how anyone knows that they're coming from Bremen. Um, any, well, anything, anyone, anything, uh, you know. Is it, it, is it specifically ships from Bremen or ships built in, like, it, say, say, Say uh, in like Bryn Shander, they build a ship and then and then you buy a ship and then you launch it from Bremen. Does that count? Or what if you build it in Bremen and then send it send it to sell it to Bryn Shander? She's Does flipping, it get then? flipping through her notes kind of furiously as you're talking, and then she looks at you kind of crestfallen. I I, I don't think that I've been noting where the ships were made. I uh, oh. apologies. That is that that is on me. I yeah. I, we need data, Miss. Data. Uh, well, I, I do have some. Um, uh, what I can tell you is the, the descriptions of the um, of, of the monster uh, vary wildly. Some say it's the size of an ox, and others say it's closer to the size of a house. Some, Those? yes, a, a, a That's house. That's a big range. Yes, uh, and a house monster attacking boats. Uh, you can't can't believe all the reports. Um, some say it, maybe it's a, a whale or a large fish. Uh, others describe it m more lizard-like, um, with scaly skin and a long neck. Could there be more yeah. than one? But absolutely. There have been numerous reports, and uh, honestly, there are sometimes are not reports because the the fishermen don't return. Mm -hmm. Is there is there something about the sailors from Bremen that might draw up creatures from the water? Uh that's that's a possibility. But I mean, we've it, we and all of the other ten towns have been show, so short staffed that I don't know that any of the fishermen going out or are necessarily from Bremen. Uh, they kind of from from all over. As folks need money, they. They fish wherever they are. That's why Grinsk uh, had had hired some some people, and uh, I, he's always, let's say he's very fond of the drink, and so I think maybe he just didn't realize that it wasn't you that he hired. But that that was why he was he was yelling at you last night to go to go fishing. Uh, might be a perfect time to run an ex. Experiment. Her eyes light up, and she's she's ready to write, and she's looking at you. Yes. How many ships do we have available to us? Um, I th think that Grinsk has three, uh, three small boats. Do we have? Do we have any boats that were are from other ports, that uh, are owned by people from other other cities? Mm, not that I know of. The the only one that I know that has that has boats here is, is Grinsk. Most of the others were 
either trapped in the ice or, or broken up on ice flows. Does Grinsk have an insurance policy? Because, boy, it'd be really boring if, like, we investigated this whole thing. It was all just an insurance scam. Uh, I, I I don't believe so. I think rather than paying his premiums, he would rather pay the barmaid for another round. If you catch my that meaning, he, he's good, good, he's, good. he's not he's not a bad person. He just he's trying to keep his business running and keep people fed, and he's also he doesn't seem alcoholic. like a schemer. Is what you're saying? I don't know that he's smart or sober enough for that. <laughs> oh, is he dumb? <laughs> So, what's this experiment? Uh, <laughs> she she sees you, and and rather than you get the feeling that rather than just totally selling him out, she's trying to shift the conversation <laughs> and not have to say something bad about him. Well, yes. Uh, well, you see, uh, typically you would have a control, uh, a ship that you you know is going to be attacked, and so I mean, mm. from what from what you say, uh, uh, a Bremenese ship with a Bremenese crew is. is is almost certain to go down. Uh, but then what we would also need is is possibly another another ship from another city with a totally mm -hmm. different crew, like uh, like Bryn, Bryn Shander or, or, or any, anywhere like that. And uh, maybe uh, a ship that had been constructed elsewhere but sold to a Bremen crew Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That would be crewed by by, by Bremen sailors, and then mm -hmm. and you just you just send them all out at once, and you just take notes about which ones die, uh, and then you try to figure out who they're targeting. And she, uh, when you say that, she she stops writing, and she looks up at you. So, or you think I need to find three crews worth of people who are willing to die? I mean, and then you she's, ba and then she's back to and then she's back to writing. So <laughs> she's a scientist at heart. I mean, if they're going to be sailing anyway, you just kind of gather info beforehand and then gather info about who makes it back. It's yeah, it's all observational. Hmm. So they're not definitely going to die. Just, just, just most most likely. Yeah, just yeah, yeah. No, 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 probably. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's not like you're we're not hiring these people. We're not trying to get them. They're not bait. That kind of sounds like bait. Kind of sounds like bait. No, no, no. We're just watching what they would normally do anyway. But you have to make them all go out there. I mean, oh. you just ask a couple questions before, like, where are you from? Are you from Bremen? Is your ship from Bremen? Is your wife from Bremen? I Get feel as like much information as you can. We could probably cut a few of those steps out of the way. Um, if, Professor, we send out a single ship with a Bremen crew and then another ship with, say, a crew of travelers who are kind of versed in uh, manners in which monsters appear. Where are we going to find people like that? Professor. Ah! <laughs> um, um, um. <laughs> and we can get his fish. And we can get his, and we can get his fish. Yeah, we could get his fish. He, he we can always, help everybody at once. He, he always does pay for fish, though. I, I would I would say you could, you could probably talk him up a little. I, I don't know what he had offered you before, but it it likely wasn't wasn't what they're worth. Oh, I said we'd do it for free. We can we can negotiate a, a pri price. Uh, uh, Delphi, don't don't if you can help it, don't work for free. Why not? Because because you need money for things to live, like food or or shelter or ammunition. Think of all the experience she would get as a fisher person. I not experience. No, nope, you don't get paid in experience, Delphi. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe I should get one of those notebook things and write stuff down too. Oh, I highly recommend it. But, but oh yes, it's it's very helpful. <laughs> but how how is it helping people if they pay us? Because aren't you supposed to help for free? Well, the people do still get to eat. They don't just give us the food. 
to help us? That's more she, like a barter system. As, as she slowly <laughs> looks at, at Cora and Cora has a big smile on her face and kind of ducks back into the kitchen and is, brings another round of coffee to everyone. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, to be fair, she's got a point. Modern <laughs> economics is awful. I, yep. In smaller communities, a bartering system would work, but if you're out in the world like us, a lot of times people aren't going to be as kind as Cora here um, and will probably demand money up front. Cora chimes in. Well, and with the the winter that has been so long and the fact that we're basically cut off from everywhere else in the world, the, the supplies are, 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 are getting thinner. They're getting less. People are are jealously guarding them uh, much more than they were, so. Interesting. Back home, we don't even use money, so. Hmm. Uh, where, where is, she flips to a whole new page. <laughs> and where is that? Oh, the celestial realm. Tell me more. Uh, dude, uh, dude, I will go three hours on this shit with y'all sitting at the breakfast table. <laughs> Try me. Try me. I play a cinnamon roll. Try me. <laughs> <laughs> so you finish breakfast and, and Delphi tells Tali <laughs> all about the celestial realm and Zalvana pipes in to correct and clarify a few things about the realm occasionally. Um, and then after she has filled several pages on Delphina, um, What, uh, what, what do you think? Do you, do you think that you can, you, you can help me? Um, you, do you think maybe, maybe you could take me out onto the lake and if we find it, I can make notes on it and then I can better prepare people to be, to be safe around it. Yes. I, I would like to see if we could go out with another ship also and see well, we could probably take all, kind of all three of Grint's ships. Does he have a crew for for the other two? Uh, uh, I I don't know. We we would at least have to take two for the the number of us. How many can we fit on 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 each? Uh, well, you can make three fit. Uh, but with with fishing tackle and gear, it, it's it's far far easier to to fit two in a two in a boat. But uh, oh. I I have seen. I've seen as many as five in a boat. They, they, they strangely all on top of each other. I, I, I have some drawings of it in a different journal if you'd like to see them. So you, you were actually expecting us to fish on this trip then? Well, no, I, I don't care if you do or not, but if the boats come from oh, Gansk, they'll have, they'll have the fishing gear in them. Because I'm going to be busy taking notes. I didn't want to... It seemed like a lot. You know, I've only got the one... Can't can't write and hold the fishing pole. Never mind. I can hold the fishing pole. <laughs> and you have two arms. You could actually hold two mm, two fishing poles, one in each arm. Um. I mean, if I never mind, you'll find out later. I can. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I I can't I can't offer you much. I I, I could probably pull a, a few gold together, but it, it, if we know what's out there the people of Bremen would, would be much, much safer. And we would, we would know what, uh, more about what, what, what it is. Um, yes. And knowledge is worth its weight in gold. So but we does, will take the actual gold as well. Uh, oh. yes, I, I will, I will, I'll see what I can, what I can scrape together. Um, can I, uh, can I, I, I trust that you'll, that you'll meet me at the docks? Yeah. Delphina glances around. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll uh, be there. Okay, I'm going to run home and grab a few things, uh, scrounge some, some gold up for you, and I will meet you at the the, the Maiden's Wares. Uh, it's a shop uh, in town. Uh, Cora can tell you how to get there. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And she profusely shakes all of your hands. Um, and awkwardly, Professor, she tries to shake your hand that isn't there and then does the weird hand turnaround thing to try to shake. And then just flustered, she's she's out the door. Why is she trying to shake with her left hand anyway? My right hand is still here. <laughs> That's how they do it in Bremen, man. Yeah, the 10 towns is friggin' weird. 
Um, <laughs> Cora it begins to to clean up uh, plates and and uh, cups and stuff, and Xander stands to help her. Um, with uh, with this being a lake adventure, um, I think I'm gonna stay here and make sure Wait, Feral's an okay. Option? And and, uh, and, Not for you. and 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 help Cora with some things uh, around the end. Um, you guys uh, knock yourselves out, but but do be safe. the The water is very cold. Remember the last time fell in the water, so now you don't want to go. I mean, I don't some, blame him. He's some, a terrible swimmer. Did yeah, you see so, him? So, something something like that. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. Uh, and he he will kind of quietly <clears throat> continue helping Cora clear things. All right. Well, someone in the family has to make money. <laughs> so, Zalvana, I have an idea. What is your idea? So, I was going through my bags last night and I found this really big bear trap. What if I tie a rope to the trap and then open it up and then throw it into the lake like a like a fishing pole and try to snap what's ever in there and then pull it back up? I mean, I mean, try it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> We've had luck with the bear trap before. I'm just saying. On land. Why not try it in the water too? Because it doesn't float. No, it's well, going to no, sink. Well, no, it would okay? sink. And, and yeah. the monsters are down there. Mm -hmm. right? Put some bait in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Grab uh -huh. a fisherman from Bremen and put him in the trap. <laughs> and then the stick was that in the water. Of using human bait. He just wasn't going to say it out loud. <laughs> we knew, Professor. We absolutely knew. Mm. All right. Mm. Let's go meet uh, the dwarven fisherman. Maybe we need a Bremen fish to put on on the thing and then just put it in. The, I don't know. I guess the food here. I don't like what. Maybe. Butter. That's it. Oh, it's the but. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, mm. the, the butter mm. we just ate an entire <laughs> stick of. <laughs> just put your hand on there; it's fine. Um, <laughs> Stir it up. Uh, Cora tells you all uh, how to get to the 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 shop that Tilly mentioned, the Maiden's Wares. Um, be, be be mindful of the owner, Davrick. Um, uh, something doesn't sit well w w with me uh, about him. It, he's wild-eyed and, and always praising the beauty of the snow and the work of the Frost Maiden. Uh, just, just be, just be mindful. Who is this? Uh, he's the owner of the the Maiden's Wares. Uh, his name is Davrick. Sounds a um, lot like those things that attacked us. What kind of shop is that? Uh, it's kind of general goods. Um, there, there aren't really many specialty stores left anywhere in the Ten Towns, from what I hear. But especially in Bremen, it's um, I, I I don't know. I think he travels about and trades for things and and brings them back and sells them in his shop here. Yeah, so, so she tells you uh, how to get to uh, the Maiden's Wares, and um, I assume you all head that way? Yeah. Okay. Let's move you guys over here. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a an unassuming uh, little shop, and it's, it's here uh, pretty... I've got to change layers. Oh, so many things. It's here, kind of close to the docks, uh, so it, it's definitely on your way. Um, but you you go in, and it's it is um, it's very kind of somber in there. It's nothing in there looks very fancy, and uh, standing not behind the counter but in front of it, and seeing you come in, is uh, a, a red-haired man. Ah, hello. Welcome to my shop. Blessings of Aurel be upon you. How might I help you today? And 
Uh, give me just a second. I'll get you the Maiden's Wares. Edit in Player's Journals. All. Okay, so you guys should have a new thing in the journal that is the the different things that, that are for sale here at the Maiden's Wares. Just uh, browsing out in the cold, browsing, or or can I can I fit you for something? Uh, some well, some, some alchemist fire, perhaps, or maybe a hunk of cheese. Um, we are, I guess you could say, about to be in the business of doing some fishing. Hmm. Well, I definitely have I have fishing tackle here. Um. It, it's it's not a lot, but it uh, it 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 brings them it brings them to the surface, or we'll be praised. Would it also uh, bring lake monsters or river monsters to the to the surface? <laughs> Have you been talking to Tali? <laughs> uh, yes. Poor, poor girl. Uh, I, 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 maybe, that's all I can say is maybe. I, I think perhaps if you, uh, if you just decide to get drunk and go out on the lake, maybe that's why you won't return, uh, rather than there being some, some sort of monster. All the same, we're probably going to go and take a look out there anyway, you know, just to put some fresh eyes on the situation, you know? Ab absolutely. The, uh. The, you never know which what glory of the frost maiden you might find in 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 every place, including on the lake. Mm-hmm. 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 Any How does any this alchemist fire work? <laughs> Just... Oh, it's oh, it's very, very nice. You uh you you strike a tinderbox and, and light it and and then you throw it. And the the jar breaks open, and it 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 sets on fire and sticks to everything. Hmm. Oh. Actually, it's you might want pricey, wanna... unfortunately. Well, it it is difficult to come by. That's just something that I uh, that I acquired next door in in Targos, but uh, I I try not to spend. Try not to spend too much time in Targos, let's just say. What's wrong with Targos? Well, I mean, <clears throat> I can't say for certain, but it uh there are a number of people who who think that the, the speaker there fancies Targos to be the the new trading hub of Icewind Dale. Um I mean he gets he has Alchemist Fire. Uh he he does. He does. I just, again, I maybe I may be speaking out of turn. I I think there there may be more to it than that. I I think that uh, a bit of cultish aspirations there. Cultish how? He looks around. But there's no one in the store, so he's just he's being a bit performative and making sure no one's listening. Um, the word on the street, as it were, has it that the Zentarum have uh, begun to move into Targos, and that lot, all they seem to be devoted to, is the almighty gold coin. So you can uh, you can think of them as a a cult of wealth or a cult of money or someone who runs trading hubs and pushes small business owners out of business people Not who are like... simply serving the frost maiden and, and and all of her citizens and subjects yes that yes that's what i would that unlike the the followers of or real that's make a deception check or make a per make do your your choice deception or persuasion. Oh, I'm pretty sure they're the same. Dirty twenty. Well, yes, absolutely. Uh, I, I again, I, I may be speaking out of turn. I don't have any hard evidence. 
just out of curiosity, while we're on the subject, what what has what has brought you to be a to be a follower of Oriel? Where did you first learn of her? Mm, well, I I have lived Is there in a, a, a local chapter here in town, or uh, <clears throat> well, we are a legitimate church. Uh, while there are no temples yet to her in ten towns, uh, there there are church members in every city of the ten towns. Uh, she is she is quite quite well respected and heralded by by a great number of people. Um, just as someone might pray to Mistra to grant them knowledge, or implore Saloon to cast more light upon the Dale, or request Malar to make the herds healthy to hunt, or beg Ilmater for strength to endure another month of ice and snow. Uh, Oriel is, is a god, and has proclaimed this land as her own, and we, we are her subjects. And, and if she seems harsh, it's just because we're not showing her enough fealty and, and enough praise. Yes, but now, f forgive me. I, I don't mean to be rude, but isn't aren't the followers are of Oriel more of a, a a fringe group, like a, a bit on the outside? I mean, I haven't heard of of too many high high ranking followers of Oriel. Not at all. Uh, all of the ten towns make sacrifices to her. Are they fringe? Religious nuts? Are they cultists? Uh, Bremen and Dugan's Hole and Goodmead and Tourmaline all forsake warmth and all fires for an entire night during the new moon. Care Denival, Care Koenig, and Lonely Wood all give up a whole day's catch of knucklehead trout. Bryn Shander, East Haven, and Targos even have a lottery to select a person for sacrifice to Oriel. Why would they do these things if it were a fringe religion that, that no one was part of? I did not mean to imply that your followers weren't weren't numerous or, or or strong. I just I haven't heard of too many powerful individuals who have joined the 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 following. Unfortunately, we we do keep a a bit of a low profile. There are certain elements in Icewind Dale that uh, seem to be out to besmirch our names. Uh, the Zentarum, for one, but. They're not nearly as bad as the Knights of the Black Sword. <clears throat> now those bastards are a real cult. It's, oh, we're run by Levistus, the Lord of the Fifth, the rogue archdevil, frozen prince, imprisoned in an he's iceberg. Yes, and he's imprisoned in an iceberg in Stygia. <gasps> How can you be respected as a god if you can't even escape from a simple prison? But is are not and again uh, excuse i again i don't i don't no mean thing. to be but are are not the knights of the black sword uh i'm sorry benefited by by speaker Cranock? is isn't is he not their their backer does he not do they not have his support is is there no one among the followers of Oriel? that the uh what i hear from my low lying friends there is that the speaker has not been seen in weeks. Some fat paunch of a man tiefling had been running things for a while, and, and he has seemingly gone missing as well. So who knows what those bloodthirsty cutthroats have done there. Uh, I, I would not say the speaker is, is, is a benefactor of theirs, but... Uh, but but I but I do not know for certain. All I do know is that he has not been seen in public in weeks. Mm. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Yes. Um, well, if if your 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 group is able to f find anyone uh, a a a well known supporter, someone who can lend some, again, I. I don't mean to be rude, but some le legitimacy to your to your group. Um, perhaps we could have another conversation. I would relish the opportunity to speak at more length with you. Um, you were interested in that uh, that alchemist fire. It is yes? quite fascinating. I must admit, yes. And he uh, he takes it off the shelf and hands it to you. 
Remember this. Every flake of snow is unique, and that which is unique must be preserved. May the blessings of a real be upon you, and consider this a gift from the Frost Maiden. Well, well, thank you very much. I'll consider your words carefully. Good day. So and are we are are we walking out? Are we leaving? Is that what's happening? Well, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all decide that. He has just good dayed you uh, well, after was, having I, given you a professor. Add one alchemist <laughs> fire to your inventory. Um, yeah. but don't we need fishing supplies? Or are we just yeah? Actually, I'm I'm gonna I'm go ahead and get one of the, one of those fishing tackles you got over there. Um, let me let me and some ball bearings. Um, and is that an amulet for a real? Let me get one of one of them too. You just just to make sure you know prior to such itself uh profits this day <laughs> ah uh, I, you are a you are a gentleman that has good taste i can see well, and, and you know it you were i if i if i if i seemingly got heated or 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 out of bounds i, I apologies i you you don't know what what we endure with those other Entities here. Uh, you know what? Uh, fishing tackle, the 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 amulet, and some ball bearings. Uh, please, uh, blessings of a real be upon you. These, please consider these a gift from the frost maiden as well. You are too Th kind. Thank you. I will thank not you. forget this. So now are you guys going outside? Are you just going to no, stand in his shop and no, look at him? No, 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 it's so cold in this house. It's so cold in this house. You know, May your pillows always be cool. I, I have to digress for just a minute. Uh, Madeline, have you seen the, the kids' bop version of WAP? No. Oh, no. Oh, my There's God. A kids' bop it's, version of WAP? Why? Well, there definitely shouldn't be, but I will just tell you that the... Oh. Um, the it's, it's like wings and pizza or something like that, and it's like, this doesn't even make sense. As to why you would do you need, that. You but. need a bucket and a mop for some wings and pizza? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, sometimes. That's true. But kids no. don't need to be in a pot. <laughs> kids don't need to be singing songs about it, is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, so you... I uh, need to do some Googling later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, phrasing. Okay. Oh, my goodness. You, uh, okay. you, step, you step outside and... Uh, and I'll give you guys a moment to uh, to digest that before we continue. So he was oddly generous. Uh huh. He might expect us to die. I don't know. <laughs> uh, from what? I just gesture to the river. Oh well. Oh. Hopefully well not. Zelvan is really strong. Or he 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 might think we're we're gonna. Uh, convert to, to 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 the church. Oh no no no! I can following never following real. I can yeah, never I, leave Eldith. I you yeah. don't yeah I. I'm gonna do you do you want this? I saw you eyeballing it earlier. Yes, please. Thank you. It's okay. so pretty. And that's the so, amulet. Yeah. Yes. It it is a beautiful silver snowflake. Um, you may not have seen them, Delphina, but the others you have seen, um, more kind of crudely carved wooden, um, uh, wooden approximations of it. And, and you might remember the, when Delphina first showed up and you fought the, uh, you fought the guys out on the plains, they had, one of them had a ring that had that symbol scratched into it. And that's what bamfed you guys to the ice cave. Uh, but mm -hmm. yeah, it is. It's easily recognized as the symbol of Oriel. It's a six, a six-pointed uh, snowflake. I'm gonna put it on. Okay. 
it's uh, it's, it's I'm beautiful. still alive, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's just <laughs> it is a beautiful silver pendant. Okay. Very pretty. Thank you, Flynn. You're you're welcome. Um, about this time, you guys hear a little bit of a little bit of commotion. You turn back and look, and rounding the corner is Tali, and she has grabbed <clears throat> another journal and what looks like a few reference books and maybe a sketch pad and what looks like an easel with a brand new stretched <laughs> canvas on it and some paints. And she just kind of hobbles over to all of you with all this equipment. And she has a paintbrush in her mouth. Full documentation is very important. Is, do you need help carrying some of that? Oh, oh, that, that would be lovely. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll take some of the things from her and help her. She, she'll, she'll hand you the, the easel with the brand new canvas. It's a brand new dud. Be careful to get it dirty. Um, was that, was that you at a young age? <laughs> <laughs> I love art. No response. <laughs> <laughs> He's just in awe. <laughs> He's like, why can't I meet a woman like that? All the ones I meet die. Yeah. I know. Oh, God. Um, I was really thinking like, man, she could really possibly be my daughter and then i was like could she be my daughter send me something in discord we'll come up with a side quest oh my god uh we'll have you guys like level 15 on nothing but side quests in bremen <laughs> i'm not the only one uh yeah so she uh just okay this this way and she will uh, lead you down to the docks and sure enough there's the dwarf that you had um the shield dwarf you had met sort of met last night uh grinsk and he uh he seems to be in in just as bad a mood as he was then uh possibly he's nursing a hangover or is waiting for his hair of the dog to kick in um and uh, apologies, I am not nearly as good with the Scottish uh, dwarf as uh, as Ryan or as some. Try. But uh, yes, I'll I'll try, and then we'll just edit all that out in post. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we'll edit uh, John Reese Davies voice in after. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I would love to be uh, vo dialogue replaced by John Reese Davies. Ah. Oh. Good God, it's about time. Have you decided to come and fish now for me? Yes, we have. We even brought supplies. Mm. So, what was it we had decided? It was, it was two copper per fish? Is that what we had, had, dis, had decided on? I, sure. was it uh, the look on your face. Silver. I mean, his eyes get big and no, he's he, he's joking. He's joking. Well, he, he's joking. I could I could have sworn it, it, I, was, I, I, it was for copper for fish though. I uh, his eyes I get thought big it was free. and he feigns a swoon, <laughs> but you can kind of see the <laughs> that kind of that alcohol hit under him and his feigned swoon turns into like he almost <laughs> fell over. Two <laughs> silver, good God! What no, kind of fish are you he's, catching? He, he's he's joking. He's joking. It, it it will it will be four copper per fish though because we had to come all the way out here on such short notice. I also did take a quite a bump on the head recently, so um, Tilly, I may have misremembered. Tilly speaks up. Uh, you know, Grant, I, I think you paid the last group. Uh, you would said one one silver per fish, huh? Oh no, I I I I, I no way I could remember that. Yeah, well, yes, you see that the ship there with. With the, the bite taken out of the side that didn't have the fisherman in it when it returned, you had promised them all a silver piece per per fish. And sure enough, there there are three kind of small small boats there, and one of them has what looks like a bite mark out of the side. It's still it's still seaworthy, but um he he looks at that and kind of blanches pale for a moment. Ah uh, ah. Uh, uh, fine, fine. Just uh, we're, we're wasting the daylight. Get out there and and bring some damn fish home. Did I mean that ship? Obviously, the crew didn't quite make it. Did you get any fish out of them, though? Like, did they catch any fish with the fish left left on the boat? Uh, no, there were no fish on the boat. 
tough break for you then, I suppose. <laughs> you don't have to pay me. Um, I'll just do it for free to help you. No, no, she's, uh, uh, she, uh, no, no, maybe she, she, she you're she, the fisherman no, of this. She's, 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 tr- she's, she's trying under. out this dry humor thing. It's uh, it wasn't it wasn't real. Ah, a bit yeah. dry myself. Oh. He'll turn and sneak a little bit of a. Yeah, no, no, he could pay. No, Del- Delphi. He could pay you the silver. He doesn't have to pay me. She, she's, I'll... she's on, she's on our retainer. Her cut will go to each of us. Yes. I don't care. Exactly. Go catch some goddamn fish. All right, let's go push this <laughs> no, thing in the water. I'll... And he well, will. That's kinda, not very nice. He will kind of stalk off away from all of you. <laughs> well, maybe I do want my silver then. There you go. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't taking yes. shit from nobody. <laughs> To be fair, he's paying per fish, right? And then we can just I mean it's by f- we can just Does it have to be a whole up. fish? Because <laughs> because if I throw the trap in the water and it doesn't catch any of the monsters and it catches fish, but it brings up fish bits, do they still count? We'll discuss it by weight when we get back and see if we'll work with that. Is not the forehead bone the most important part? Yeah, the meat or the head's where all the good meat is. Or- or do they use the, the all the meat too? I suppose they use the whole thing. This is a forehead boat. Well, because it's a knucklefish. So like it's all like it's all like they here. got like the head. They got like the head? foreheads. Yeah, the heads. It's a fish. Unicorn? I don't know. I'm pushing the wa- I'm pushing Ooh, the boat stall. in the water. <laughs> uh, the boat, the boats are in the in the journal. The the, the, the boats are foreheads. The boats are in. Uh, they're they're actually tied to the dock. Uh, there are three boats, and so I need you guys to decide. Uh, how you are going to break yourselves up? Um, <laughs> who's brave enough to go with Delphi? I was about to say, me and Delphi got to split up, right? Because I think boats are dex based. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I I am I am remiss for not having checked on that, but I think maybe you're right. Maybe they you do use decks for steering and for maneuvers. I, I'm pretty sure we do. Because yeah, I'm... you, um, okay, uh, Delphi with me. You with Professor Flynn? Uh, yeah, uh, that seems like our dynamic anyway. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and uh, Tally with us as well. I think with the easel, Tally's gonna need even ground to. <laughs> Fair. All right. So, Ivana, do you have any way to contact us if perhaps we get separated? I mean, we can yell. <laughs> what I was thinking. But oh, it's a, it's a lake. Oh, no. Zavana, you... uh, me and you switch because I can link with the professor. Oh. Yeah, but I can only do that for so far. Honestly, yelling would probably work better over long All distances. Right. Well, I mean, I can also speak with animals. So if we see a fish. Send fish messages back and forth. Fish yeah, but how yes. would the fish speak to us? You can't talk. You to would fish just professor? send us a fish, and it would go, blah, 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 and we would have we would have no no clue. Just this is the fact. point Did that I I'm, I'm, I'm a new cleric. This is the point where I'm trying to decide what my fish voice sounds like. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you better do it. <laughs> Most animals just More tend fishy. to go blah, 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 at us. So. <laughs> So uh, what are the uh, what are the boat? Let's just send then? Flynn and I together. It's fine. Well, I mean, I guess Delphi and I both have wings, so we can always fly away if things get weird. Okay. So mm-hmm. Tali is in a boat, and all by herself. All by herself. Uh, so, you oh, know, good lord! Somebody had mentioned that's not it. good. She does have like the easel and everything, and she she's she's happy to try to like try to work on getting that set up and everything. Um, that, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, isn't she from here? Isn't she going to, I don't know. (laughs) Well, she'll be the control. Yeah. Uh, Okay. I don't know that we should put her alone. (laughs) uh, That's a bad idea. That's a bad idea. (laughs) You want to go with her, Delphi? (laughs) I'll go with her. I've already got her easel. Okay. Okay. And if she falls overboard, I could just fly away or ask the fish to catch us. <gasps> we could have a fish raft. This is going to be great. Fish raft. Fish raft. 
come up out of the ocean with like 500 fish. I'm Aquaman. <laughs> Uh, does this uh, boat by myself? It, well, it, there's a there's a a, a a mop and a bucket in your boat. Uh, so, cool. all right. Uh, <laughs> all of the. Uh... <laughs> all right. All right. I think I think I might have just hurt Flynn. Um, oh, okay, that's fine. All, all of the boats have uh, have a couple of fishing rods that have seen better days and a little bit of tackle, but with the 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 extra tackle that that Flynn uh, was gifted. Um, you guys should be fully set for um, um, for doing some fishing. Uh, so, if you guys are ready to set out, I'll switch this over on the maps here. Go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So you guys uh, scroll all the way to the bottom left. Oh, jeez. Um, this is a a bigger oh, map. Oh, this is a big map. Wee. There they are. Just, just because it might be uh, might be something you guys gotta take a little while at doing. So you can, you have control of your tokens, but uh, I will have to move the boats. You know, actually, I guess I could assign control to you each as a captain. Um, so Captain the, the, Delphi. Captain Delphi. Uh, so the. Um, this is a big conf uh, uh, ice flow right in front of you here. All right, so Zalvana. Uh, you guys have to decide which but which of you are in the boat that has the bite out of the side as well. Is that the one that's gonna leak? How deep is the bite? <laughs> I'll I'll take the one with the bite in it because I'm only one person. That way you don't have to worry about extra weight. Okay. Um, by Do Delphi we have a way to fix this boat? Captain Delphina. Um, Can I use lesser restoration on it? Mending! <laughs> I know mending! Shit! I mend it! <laughs> Can I mend it? There mend it! I'm a cleric! I know mending! What the crap? You know, we'll say, we'll say that there's enough uh, like detritus uh, in there that you could kind of fill the hole in and start mending and kind of make it kind of work itself back in um yeah i mean it, when you got in it felt like it was seaworthy but with some <clears throat> uh, some subtle casts of mending and kind of filling that bite hole it um it definitely is it feels a little more stable than it than it did cool. awesome uh so i think that you guys can control those boats you could just drag a box around the boat and the character and i think you guys can move it so I'm gonna let you guys uh, do a little bit of moving, uh, moving around on your own. Delphi's done dropped everybody off into the <laughs> do a do a box select and grab the the boat and I, the token. Or can you not do a box select? I don't think we can. Oh, okay. Well, you can just move your token because you should. Oh, have wait, token I can as well. You can. I think. Well, I think it just moves. Yeah, can, oh, think, I can I move my token and the boat. And the boat, yeah. So I'll just. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, well, Flynn, you're in charge because you look behind you and the professor's in the stern of the boat with his notebook out. Just like, okay, time to get started. Take a note. Useful. Thank you. Uh, please direct my attention toward anything interesting. Please. Uh, uh, thank you. Yep. We'll, we'll do. There's a, uh, talk amongst yourselves, there, there's a handout somewhere that has the fishing rules in it. I just, I did not get that one prepared and pulled up. And so, uh, there are fishing things. Yeah. Yeah. Like roll, roll to see what you caught, like, you know, a boot or something like that. It's an RPG. Of course there's a fishing mini game. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. All right. Well, uh, so you, are uh, you guys kind gonna of boats are these by the way? Are, are, are oh, they're, these they're rowboats. Upgrades. Yeah, they're they're rowboats. Um, oh lord. They uh they're rowboats and they're a little bit wide for one one person to row, but there are oars and oar locks, and so one person can row it. You just gotta get a little <gasps> bit beefy. That's great news for Flynn. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so for fun times, can I have Delphina use her <laughs> spiritual weapon since it's you know a giant Feather slash could be an oar. Uh, instead of the oar, sure. 
Yes. Yeah, I, he says, yes, I will let you burn that spell slot. Heck, <laughs> not heck, as a spell yeah. slot. That's why I'm like, for fun stuff, not... <laughs> I don't want to die at go, man. Spells uh, are fun. I, uh, so you guys decide on what you're, on what you're doing. Um, if you're going to sp split up and spread out, or kind of stay together, or if you're going to run like a body recovery grid pattern, or, or what? It's, I just watched a video on YouTube about Coast Guard search patterns. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Let's do that. <laughs> um, I mean, oh, geez, I'm in the water. Get back in the boat. I think we should stay relatively in the same general direction okay like i don't want to just fan out and immediately lose each other like i'd That's like your... to be able to stay within throwing distance we'll put it that way okay um yeah so as you say that you notice that delphine is going the long way around a uh a giant <laughs> block of ice in the yeah. uh in the, the professor lake. is like plotting a search grid on his in his notebook and he's like okay it will be most efficient if we oh never mm -hmm. mind elfie come over this way when you come around that rock okay <laughs> <laughs> you know what if you didn't know spiritual weapon is a hell of an ore <laughs> um do we have like I'm gonna... maneuverability rules on our boats? Yeah. Was... No. I, my guess is since mm -hmm. you guys are you're, you're gonna do a little fishing, you're not like speed demoning. Okay. And so uh, unless you try something really silly, I'm not gonna bog us down in doing a Why bunch of. Why would we do that? I'm not gonna bog us down in a bunch of rolls. All right. So I'm, I'm guessing we should kind of want to, if we're gonna fish, we probably should get out into open water. I don't know how fishing works. <laughs> I mean that that would not be a bad idea. Uh, it, this is all kind of open. It's where this map is. It's a bit off of the dock, but um, yeah, probably center-ish. Or, or maybe there's some tricks, and and folks think that you fish up next to a a big chunk of ice, and that's where the little fish houses are. I mean, there there's so many um, different old wives' tales about fish that. Uh, Maybe maybe somebody's going to be like a what do they call it a catfish noodler where they reach into the stump. Oh, it's an arm in and pull it. <laughs> no, <'cause laughs> it. Do I mean do we Not know it. anything about fishing or knucklehead trout? Can we can we <sighs> no. gamify this a little bit? Can we D and D this <laughs> and na make a nature roll or something? Uh, sure. Yeah. Everybody, give us a nature roll. Okay. There we go. I don't know if Delphi's ever fished. And. Nature. Nature powers. Activate. Well, the professor has definitely never fished, but he's probably read about it in the book. Mm, no. Nope. 11? That's a six. So, uh, what did you have, Delphi? A five? Is that what you said? 11. 11. No, an 11. An 11. Thank you. Somebody else had a five, though. I did. I, I did. That's a six. Okay. So, an 11 and a six. And we have and a, a 10. And a <laughs> 10 for the professor. Level. Zalvana, what, what's your fish role? What's your nature role? Oh, Professor's might, just chilling out in the ocean. You might be muted. Or in the lake. Mads. Did I get left behind again? You did. I forgot to unmute myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. My nature roll sounds weird. Um, what, is what is life? It's a seven. So. Well, there's that. A seven, a six, a 10, and an 11. You guys absolutely know that the fish live in the water <laughs> okay good enough for oh. me mm. awesome. um i got some cheese from breakfast i'm gonna put on the tackle well, you got i mean the they're cheese. ice okay they're all right ice so, fish. should we be works. using ice blocks so okay so <laughs> flynn's, flynn's gonna use cheese delphina you're gonna use an ice cube <laughs> professor <laughs> no. professor what are you guys gonna use for bait <laughs> ice cubes um i've got some alchemist fire <laughs> Or uh, grenades. No, not a whole lot. Did Can I these like boats not come with bait? 
They they do. They do. I just uh, I didn't know if you guys wanted to go off off script and, and use something of your own. No, I mean, I have a potion of growth. Hmm. Hold on to that. <laughs> Would giant fish be easier to find than little fish? Well, I, mean, I like I, I will like say charisma that, them. I will say that like you, you do <laughs> like, I do charm like some fish like a fan dance or something. <laughs> um, you do know that knucklehead trout can can be quite large, um, you know, like maybe not quite person size, but but like a like a big fucking tuna. They can be they can be really big. You're a big fucking tuna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I am the gay. only one. I am the, I am the only one. Um, um, tasty. All right. Um, so what? What do you guys all give me a give me a d twenty roll? Just straight straight flat d twenty. Let's see. Where all right. I'm, all right. Here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually roll it on my. Card. That's probably a better choice than what I did. <laughs> That's twelve. <laughs> That's a five. We. I say that was a, a. I'm gonna roll it on my crack, and then I got a three. <gasps> okay. Blasphemy! I know. Professor, right, got to get it out of the way. You want all of us? I thought I, you don't I have to. Flynn if you, the, I thought if Flynn was the boss here. If you're not gonna fish, then that's okay. <laughs> no, <laughs> Professor's not fishing. <laughs> all right, so time to we'll, get the bear trap. Then, then we'll say, Flynn, go ahead and roll again. The professor is is advising you on your technique, but he is absolutely not getting dirty. Nineteen. And he he, he gave you some pretty good advice. You uh you put the hook in. And um, almost immediately, apparently, knucklehead trout like cheese, and um, you you get a you get a bite. It it uh it definitely hooks on. Why don't you give me um, give me like a dex check and to to, to reel him in, and um, and we'll we'll say that there's a. Hmm. <laughs> Not look at, that's not looking super great. It's, it's uh, he's, skated on the eighteen need, and then you need fell some over. Assistance. He's 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 still on there, but he's ha- kind of having his way with you a little bit. Um, Delfina and uh, and Zavana, you notice that Flynn is like sweating in the cold out here trying to fight this <laughs> trying to fight this fish, and the professor is like one handed advising him. Uh, and he's like, I know, I know what's going on. <laughs> Reel the handle, Flynn. Um, and Talie is like a mad woman just sketching. She has her sketchbook and her journal and she's sketching and writing almost at the same time, just of everything that's going on. You, you guys are fascinating to her. Can I'm going to talk to the fish. fish yet? Uh, well, no, he went a little deeper since Flynn rolled a two. Give me another okay. dex, another dex check. You're a dex build, oh. right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so okay. he he he, uh, he manages to to save in the the face of a uh, of utter mocking, and he uh, he he gets it up. It is it's kind of just below the surface now, and you guys see that there's a a spot where you can actually transfer and just hook it onto the boat so that the fish stays alive, and you don't have to keep it piled into the damn boat with you. Ooh, that's nice. So uh, how so far away? Someone. From- I'm sorry. How far away from them are me? How far away are they from me? Words are hard. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 30 feet. Is that close enough for me to do speak with animals? Uh, what's the range on it? Uh, you tell me. Self. It just says self range area self you gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration oh yeah 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 cuz speak with animals you cast on yourself and then you can yeah yeah you can you can for sure cast cast that on yourself yes wait are you asking if you can burn your spell slots yes, yes. absolutely hold on i'll get i'll i'll calm him down uh, fish calm down <laughs> we're gonna say would, you have to bring your boat a little bit closer to talk to him no no i'm just kidding <laughs> okay trying to do this realistically oh yeah i can get a little closer 
Okay. Oh, I got to pull Tilly up. Yes. She's drowning. Okay. <laughs> so, Zavanna, you have, like, the best seat in the house to watch <laughs> Delphi, mm-hmm. like, lean down to the water. And so what do you say to this fish? Oh, no. In, in, in fish language, what do you say to this? I need you to calm down for just a minute. And tell me what that sounds like. Blurble, blurble. Gurgle, blurble, blurble. Blurble, 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 and squeaking, and you, squeaking, squeaking, and you, squeaking, and you, squeaking. 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 It, it's it's a little bit rushed, but you kind of make out that he's like, "Bitch, I got a fucking hook in my mouth." What you mean, calm down? Oh, can can you take the? He wants to know if you could take the hook out of his mouth. Let the hook out. Yeah, please. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Tell him I'm gonna grab him and then take the hook out. Okay, blurble, blurble, Seems circle, blurble. And then I, I relay that in fish in fish terms. It's going to take the hook out of your mouth, okay? okay he, and he, he kind of slows his, his roll a little bit, and he, he does seem to calm down just a little bit. All right, okay. I'm just going to reach in the water and just like... Okay. Okay, and he settles we- back down. And he's just he's kind of right there at the surface, and he, okay. and he looks over to you, and he's like, thanks. And then... I mean, questions? He's, fu- he's questions? gone. He's gone. He's a fish. Mm. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I was worried that would happen. Oh. You I'm got sorry. You got, I don't. You got I don't think you can trust. I have a, a bear fish. trap. Maybe save the bear trap for just a little bit later. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna ask if he had seen anything suspicious lately, but he swam away. Mm, yeah. Can you ask another fish? That's you know. This around. spell lasts for ten minutes, so as if long as catch fish as long as somebody minutes, can catch a fish in ten well, minutes. I mean, they're right. they're 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 swimming around. How far does it go down? Can you just like ask? The I guess it's water. Scream into the water. <laughs> <laughs> just yell at the water. So you. Hey! Can't. I mean, I'll stick my. She'll take this literally, and I'll stick my head in the water. <laughs> Excuse me. Blurble, 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 blurble. <laughs> pop, pop. Little bubbles float to the surface. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bitch up there, she's talking to us. It, <laughs> she, they, they are fucking crazy up there. We, we get, we need. Have we you got, said anything weird lately? Y- yeah, y'all. <laughs> Wait here. Take some cheese. Just, just hold it under there and see if that helps. Go. We. <clears throat> I can't breathe down there. Thank you. And then I'll. <laughs> we have cheese. We have cheese. I need to ask some questions. So he will uh he will come back up to you. Um like seeing that you have have dropped some cheese in there. And um he is going to make a, a, a basically a bite attack to uh to get that cheese and we're going to see if he gets onto your hand or not. And Oof, I told if, you I didn't want to go catfishing. <laughs> see if you can. Uh... Oh god. <laughs> okay, so he. Tell me what your AC is because he has rolled a sixteen. Ha! It's eighteen. Oh man! So you you for sure feel him like get the cheese and he 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 kind of has a hold of the of your of your fingers and they just slip right out of his mouth and he's he doesn't go oh. as far away this time. But he's definitely there, like, munching on that cheese. Okay, easy. I have cheese for you, for your time. But can you come closer to the surface so I can breathe? (sighs) (sighs) Okay, and he will... He will move a little closer to the surface. I'll throw another piece of the cheese off. And he uh, he'll hit it like it's like it's like nobody's business. <laughs> okay, so I need to ask some questions. Okay. There's been there's been some weird stuff going on in this lake. And he he kind of like pans. You can see him pan around to the three of your boats, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, you ain't lying." <laughs> Have you seen any monster things that have been attacking these ships? Some people say it's as big as a house. Some people say it's the size of an ox. And some people say it looks like a lizard. I, I, I mean, are you, are you talking about, about Freddy? 
I mean, look, I mean, he's <gasps> he's not as big as the house. He has a weight problem. But I mean, come on, what are you going to do? He lives in he lives in a lake. Oh, well, that is rather rude of them. Yeah. Yeah. Prejudice. Racist. Lakest. Ooh, even. That is lakest. I'll talk to them about that. He says you guys need to stop being lakest mm-hmm. and stop. He mm-hmm. has a weight problem and mm-hmm. that's rude. Mm-hmm. Where is Freddie? Uh, where is Freddie? Can we talk to him? Uh, yeah, you just, uh, you got a, uh, I don't know where he's at right now. I mean, it's not like, you know, we live together or anything, but he, he normally kind of makes laps through the, through, through the lake here. If, if um, he should be through here in a little while. If you could go get him, I have an entire block of cheese, Flynn. We do have more cheese, right? You trying to use up all my cheese? Yeah, mm-hmm. yes, we have more cheese. Yes, there's more Thank cheese. Thank you. We have an entire block of cheese up here that we can give you, and we can even share a little bit with Freddie. Hmm. You have yourself a very weird deal. Thank you. And then he will, he will, he'll slide on out. And, um, Presumably, you have you have used in in a, a something I did not expect. You've used of speak course. with animals to uh, get yourself a fish messenger. Yeah. Um, the you you see the the tip of Talie's pencil and, and her charcoal that she's sketching with. Just it's almost smoking. She's just <laughs> going so fast and just flipping pages and just. She, she's beside herself and she you can hear her just muttering to herself like it, okay, professor's okay, watching her like fish, journal fish and to the trying to journal faster than she is like, uh, 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 cheese to the fish <laughs> the the fish says we're lakists uh it's, it's very unfortunate <laughs> we've got to stop doing that uh and she's she's like muttering it out as she's writing it all down but she is she seems very very enthralled with all of you we're in Ooh, a I was good group. at D and D. Good at this. Mm-hmm. Yes. <sighs> what, I mean, did he say he's coming back? Yes, he's going to get Freddy, and then we have to give them the rest of the cheese. Rest the, oh, okay. Right. We can get. I'll buy you more, Flynn. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> Do we know what else Freddy eats in case he's not satisfied by one block of cheese? <laughs> While this is happening, you you guys continue to talk. I'm just I'm gonna move things over just a little bit, just from kind of current floating a little. Current. I, not I not not I to worry. Ask. I didn't ask, but I mean, maybe we have something if we have some bread, or we could go get him some meat. He probably doesn't like fish because he's friends with the fish that I was just talking to, and he didn't eat them. So. See, my concern would be that we know at least one thing that he really does like to snack on. What's that? I mean, your bowl, your your boat is, is has a hole in it. So, well, that would be a like problem. I mean, him... I have wings, so like, if he eats our boats because he likes to chew on wood or something, I can just pick us all. I could pick oh. up one of you, and Silvana can get the other one, and then we can fly up. Uh, Tali, Tali, do you have wings? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, well, uh, oh, I've got a great insect collection. I mean, unfortunately, there really aren't that many insects in Icewind Dale anymore. But back at my house, I have an extraordinary collection that I. Do you know when I was last in the 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 yes, the, the, the marches? Yes, that's fine. Question asked and answered. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, if it goes sideways, just get her out of here. I'll I'll find a way to somewhere. Um. I don't think that he would eat us. I mean, he seemed really nice. I just look at the bite mark the once was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can trust the word of a fish. But we don't know that we can't. And yeah, they're not birds. Elder taught me to love everyone. So we just we just give it a chance. Yes. I mean, we, he doesn't have any reason to hate us. We put a hook in his mouth, but we took it back out and we gave him cheese. Um, Are we doomed? Please don't tell my mom. Oh, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, I, so again, she's 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 journaling. Uh, you guys notice Flynn has a kind of a peculiar that, that did I leave the stove on? Look on his face suddenly. We should we should go back. We should go back uh, now. 
No, no, no. We have to wait for Freddy. Uh, we should go back now. But we have to wait for Freddy because he went and got Freddy. I think Freddy's on his way. And I don't think okay. Freddy wants us here. Well, we'll just ask him. No, he don't want to talk. We should go. The uh, Flynn, I, I will say, to clarify on the note that I sent you, it is. It's it's kind of a pleading voice. The 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 tone of it is is oh no 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 kind of a in that vein. Something is wrong here. Well, like, then let's fix it. We got to get out the boats. All right, if you want to, we we got to get out the boats. Can, are the are these are these rock or ice things? Climbable or stand standable? The glaciers? Yeah. Hmm. Well, the I will say that some of them could be, yeah. I mean, we'd have to make some rolls to get out of the boats and onto them without sliding off because they are just giant hunks of ice that are covered in a little bit of snow. Not exactly the best for traction, even <laughs> for a dex build. Um, <clears throat> the um, just off the uh, just off the front corner of Delfina's boat here, the um, you do see the water kind of start to to Flynn, ripple. Shall we prepare to disembark? Yep. Uh, okay. And, uh, I'll start and just putting some with, crampons on. With a with a just a giant splash coming out of the water. Oh God! What did I do? You see a giant, scaly lizard-like long neck creature. Wait, there's a I'm trying to remember how to pop the token up for you to see. Oh, hi. Hello. He's oh. like a velociraptor. I would just like to state for the record that Delphina is a new cleric and <laughs> y'all letting her run the show is dangerous. And that actually sounds like a great time for us to take a five minute break. We're going to. Oh boy! We're, we're gonna. What we're gonna. That? It's a gonna, raptor. When we last left, just a few short minutes ago, uh, our party had been um, searching for a, a lake monster to help uh, a local uh, explorer try to gather some information, and they sure do seem to have found one that looks like this. Um, so I will say that. For this split moment, we are not in initiative. Hey, we're um, right. This thing. Sorry. Oh Yay. my goodness! Who rated us? Hard, Hard knock, knock dice. dice. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. We're doing a little little rhyme of the frost mm -hmm. maiden here. Uh, these guys have just just uh, come upon a sea monster, and we're gonna see how they get out of this. Uh, so, as I was saying, you're not. We're not in initiative. Um, so you have a few scant. Moments here to potentially change the the course of what is transpiring. <clears throat> I can't. Uh, I have a question. Sure. So if I if I heard the voice in my head, does that mean I can respond to it in kind? You can certainly try. Okay. Hmm. Um. As as I still want like our main goal to get out of the water and onto something. Um, but I do want to see if I can respond to it. Okay. Yeah, please. Uh, let's give that a go and then we'll see what happens. Um, let's see, do I have to, what do I have to, to do for that? Uh, well, so this is just like the, the telepathy that you've had with, with others before. That's, that's kind of how it kind of, it felt like back channeling into your mind. So mm, okay. I, I would say just. Try something with your telepathy, and and we'll see. We'll see what um, happens there. Yeah, I'll just reach out and say, "What don't you want to do? Can we help?" So you've all just watched this. You know, Flynn was like, "We got to get out of here. We got to get out of the boats. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get the heck out of here." And you see this this giant monstrosity long neck, razor sharp teeth splash up and it looks at all of you and Flynn looks at it for just a moment. And then it seems to kind of pull its neck back a little and cock its head to the side. 
and he looks right at you, Flynn, and all of you here in common. <clears throat> I'm listening. Cool. Professor All right. Sketching magic. Uh, like do, looking at T- Talene, do, like, do like she's to, trying to sketch faster. She's looking at you and trying to keep up with you, and like her fingers are bleeding because she's sketching so <laughs> fast. Uh, you guys have have done more for her in these last like couple of hours than anyone has done for her in the whole time she's been in Icewind Dale. Um, yes. Yeah, so you all hear in common. It, it says, "I'm." I'm listening. Cool. Uh, hi, my name's Flynn. Uh, these are my these these are my companions. You sound like you might have a problem, and I want to know how we can help. I I, I don't I, I don't know if you can. I just I used to just swim this lake and just eat fish. And and that's that's what I did, and and it was it was great. One day, a human did something to me, and said that she served the Frost Maiden, and that I must do my part. And 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 the Frost Maiden wants the people of Bremen to suffer, <laughs> and so I I have to attack their boats. <laughs> Well, if I don't, uh, she'll, uh, she'll make me a stupid beast again, and I'll just, I'll, I'll just be swimming, and I won't, I won't understand th- all of the things that I've come to understand. And the, he, all of you, without even rolling, get the sense that he is. It, it's tragic. He is, he is, he's pleading, and he's torn, but feels like that he has a job to, to terrorize people from Bremen, and that's the direction from which you came. <clears throat> um, all of you. Mm, let's see, Professor and Delphina, roll an Arcana check, please. The other two of you roll a Nature check. Ooh, natural. Uh, that worked out for seventeen. Uh, let's see. Um, an eight. Okay, okay. Nature, nature check. Oh, I did it on the Kraken again. I got a 16 this time. Yay! That's, so, uh, Professor, you um, you feel like you've heard of, of druids casting spells on animals to to bring them to, to consciousness like this. And, mm-hmm. and, and Zavanna, you, you feel like you have heard kind of similar stories. And I will say that with a 22, Professor, you... You have never heard a story of this being able to be revoked. Mm-hmm. Uh, this thing is speaking common, you said, right? Absolutely. Common and out loud. So, hi. Uh, Professor Reg- Reginald Wellington Smythe here. Um, who did you say approached you? Uh, I I do not know their their name. Some some human uh, dressed in furs. Did did this human give any indication as as to why the people of Bremen needed to be punished? She said it was the will of the Frost Maiden. Yeah. What did she look like? Um, and he would kind of look at all of you in turn. G- generically, kind of like like you, but in instead of fabric coverings, they 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 were skins. They were hides of 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 animals. So some kind of barbarians or some sort I I I fear that even talking to you she's she's going to come back and and take and take my, my gift away I uh, we won't let her if she comes we won't let her 
Was she, was she the one that bestowed this gift upon you? Uh, she she must have been the uh, I, I I used to swim and eat fish and I I knew nothing but that and and now I I, I know so much more. I it, it must have been her that that bestowed it upon me uh, via the the frost maiden. And how long ago was this? Ah, uh, I I don't understand the question. How many how many suns and moons has gone by? And he will look up into the sky, and then you remember that the sun hasn't shown here in nearly two years. <gasps> oh wow! Um, maybe maybe forty or fifty sleeps. Okay. Okay. Can you take us to where? You last saw her. Uh, if she yes, were to come it's... find you again, where like which would would you think she would come to the same place? Uh, possibly. Is she? She has never come back. Uh, it was just the one time. But it was it was not far from here, uh, the a shore to 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 the west of us. He doesn't say west, but he kind of neck gestures in that way. Oh. As I said, West, I was like, shit, he's not going to know direct cardinal directions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, sounds like better than nothing to go check it out. Mm -hmm. can, no, something can you about what he said has struck something with me and I can't think of what it is. Could you, could you maybe show us where, where it is? Mm, sure. Did this person give any indication of how they would take your gift? Uh, I don't, I don't know that she bestowed it. She, she must be able to revoke it, right? Yes. I mean... I can't, I can't, I can't tell you for sure, but in, in my experience, this type of magic is not something that can simply be undone. I cannot promise you that it is impossible. Certainly with, with powerful enough magic, anything is possible, but it, this does not, I do not want to convince you that her threats were idle because I cannot guarantee that, but I, I'm afraid she might've been manipulating you more than being honest with you. Roll a persuasion check with advantage. Plus six, I got a 19. He kind of sits just back into the water a little bit. You are... You are all smart, powerful. You do not think that that she can just take this from me. Again, I can't. I cannot. I don't want to promise you something. The last thing I want to do in your position is is make you another promise that that can't be kept. But I, I think we. I think we have a pretty a pretty standard. Uh, blackmail manipulation scheme going on here in the uh, unfortunately among humans this, this thing is quite common um and in in bestowing this gift upon you they, they may have brought you the the less savory aspects that come along with with such intelligence and and, and gifts you are all very complicated Unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe it's best that I spend my time exploring the lake bed and finding out what's under the ice and what's at the bottom. Uh, I, have, I have no need for boats. Have you ever been to the bottom? 
Um, only in the very shallow areas, but I think maybe I have time to 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 search now. And he's actually begins like kind of slow floating. He's not really floating. I guess he's actually maneuvering himself, but he slowly begins to move away. And what had at first seemed like a <clears throat> a, a toothy maw ready to take another chunk out of the side of the boat. Um, now almost seems like a kind of like a proto smile. Um, as he, uh, as he's if backs you away, could discover the depths of the lake. I'd much like to mark it down in my notes. <laughs> uh, uh, Lee chimes in. No, I, I'll, I'll come out and, and, and find you and you can give them to me. And then I will, I will, I will send them to the professor. And he kind of looks at the two of you strangely. Oh, do you, oh okay. Do you uh, want your cheese before you leave? That is right. Yeah, no, give him the, give that, him the whole damn thing. That is a give, promise give, we can keep. Mm -hmm. He will uh, very gently, as to not create a ton of waves, will uh, kind of come back over to the, the, the bow of your boat and with his, his face kind of forward a little bit. Here you go. We did promise this. You can have that. Strange. I wonder if there's more of that on the bottom. Well, not likely, but uh, let us know. Ah, uh, you know, you could make. You could work out with the humans if you brought them some fish every now and then. I bet you they would trade you cheese. Also, I'm sure there's marvelous things at the bottom of this lake. And humans love that kind of crap. <gasps> they do. Dude, like, Tilly is almost finished with a journal. And she's, like, grabbing things off the, the, off the floor of the boat to continue writing on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I can, I can broker that. Mm. Yeah, you could, you could just meet up with her, and you could bring her some fish every now and then, and then she could take that back to town, and then we, they should, could bring you more cheese, and then everybody's happy. Hmm. I mean, if if you want to, but I I don't know what happy is, but. I think I'm discovering it. Thank you, humans. Thank I, uh, you for calling out first. <laughs> Thank if, you for not eating us. If, uh, well, I, truth be told, I, I didn't eat the others. I merely turned their boat over and they froze. At, there definitely are fishermen at the bottom. Oh, well, that's oh, cool. That's information we can take back. <laughs> or um, not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not for nothing. Their their families might want to know what happened to them. Yeah. If they have possessions oh. or, or some humans care about the bodies and how they happen after death. I mean, like you no, said, we're, we'll, we we'll, are very we'll, complicated. We'll dress it up nice. Delphi, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, he continues to kind of slowly move away from you. And he gestures back again toward the west. If you head to the shore that way, that is where the the other met me. So maybe you can find her again. Yeah, we're gonna we'll, we'll take a look. Thank you. And with that, is it? huge splash yeah. and he takes a dive and you can see him going kind of straight down uh, not not coming under you at all he's kind of going straight down and what must be away from you um, and that was that was very very good I in a, in a shoot first, ask questions later kind of uh, campaign like we run sometimes. That was very, <laughs> very inspired. I am, I am definitely proud of you all on that. Um, yeah. Oh, he seemed nice. He was, 
he was a very reasonable fellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tilly is just looks at all of you with amazement. It, it's been it's been a couple of months. He he was he was right about about forty or fifty sleeps, and they just kept sending people out. And there was talk of trying to find this magnificent magnificent creature and and kill it. And you came out here and. And spoke with it. And now, hopefully, the uh, the attacks will stop. Uh, do me a favor, though. Try to... When you, when you go back and to tell people about what happened here today, try to leave the intelligent fish creature as minimal as possible, lest someone else try to come out here and find it. But isn't that sullying the, the the data? In a way, but there's people there's people there who are worshiping O'Reel, and whoever's ever worshiping O'Reel put him up to to terrorizing the the town people. And if they know that that threat is gone, they might come looking for a reason why. Hmm. Not she, all she data can, need be published. She Some she can she for... considers that quietly for for what seems like a long time. You um you may have a point, and she closes the one journal and kind of tucks it into her coat pocket, and then goes back and kind of finishes up on the sketch, um, seemingly understanding what you're saying. He was so nice. Hopefully no one would ever want to hurt him. Uh, so do you guys want to head out toward the west and see if you see anything? He says as he goads them into a fight. <laughs> or, <laughs> or would you prefer to um, head back to town? Uh, you, uh, you, you have caught and released one fish, so there's currently not a fishing payday. Um, so you guys can float around and fish a little more. You can, uh, say fuck that and go back to Bremen. You can head to the West and see, see what you see. Or, uh, you could try to get to one of the other cities on this lake, but it will, that will take probably eight or 10 hours to, uh, to sail. And for sure there will be some, some checks, some rowboat checks on mm -hmm. 10 hours of lake rowing. Well, I, would, I I'm I'm much curious about what what lies to the west. Yeah, I'm a little curious as too. Am as am I. No, no, as as Amar, as Amar, as Amar, as Amar. Through the west, a ASMR. <laughs> You've done that on this show before. What? What have I done on the show before? <laughs> you gotta do the thing with the fingers. Does that work? Are we? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you guys can... Uh... Captain Flynn, take us west. All right. <laughs> Westward. Wait, don't, we, don't we need to drop off Tali first? Uh, she's she, not coming. She's, uh, she's, she's game to, to, to ride with you. She, if she could find out what, you know, who or, or what type of, you know, creature had, uh, had done this... Maybe she could help to uh, get the word out on that and and make that stop. Of course, Tilly, we cool. we must figure out the, what lies behind the mystery. Yes. Uh, yeah. So you guys start uh, start out that way, and you see the the shore edge coming up, and. Everyone make a perception check for me. Oof, this is not great. Perception. Oh, not bad. Eleven. Come on, come on. A twelve? Sixteen. Oh wow. <laughs> How bad? So, wow. Um, um, hold on. With my where's where's my perception thingy? Where are you? Sorry. That's okay. Okay, so um, with a plus six, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. 
Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, as you guys are making your way that way, and Zalvana almost tips her boat over, trying to look at the sketch that Tilly's doing in the next boat. And you're like, <laughs> oh you okay God. back there? I'm fine. Everything's I'm fine, fine back there. How, how, how are you? Um, so um, the, the professor and Flynn and, and even Delphina, um, you all see uh, what looks like a, a person kind of, you know, flagging their arms back and forth and, and yelling. You're not quite in range to, to hear what's being said, but you can tell the person is flagging their arms at you and, and yelling a bit. From the shore? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yes, we're going to sail over to them. Maybe um, not all the way over, just close yeah, enough to close hear. To, mm -hmm. Do I have a spyglass? I don't have a spyglass. Do I have a... No, Cesar has a spyglass. Never mind. I was like, I, you, know, <laughs> you know what? I would almost be willing to just give you a spyglass just to see how the professor would operate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Heavens open if he up. Ever I, finds I'll one, just, man, he'll I'll, be in ecstasy. He misses his spyglass so bad. You know what? Spyglass. One hand. No, it's been in my bag this whole time. Why did <gasps> I never look on the bottom? <laughs> Professor, you that might have might, a concussion. That might be the thing that, that Freddie finds is uh, I found this this tube with the glass eyes in it. Like, oh yeah, I find I found this strange thing last week. <laughs> Thanks, um, Freddie. What a great dude. So you guys want to continue that way? Yeah. You want to to say this doesn't look good. We want to cautiously approach the no, waving against, arms first. Against all of your warnings, we're heading straight towards this thing, buddy. Come on. <laughs> if I I feel like if I didn't warn you, you might actually go away from it. Um so I'm uh just pulling some tokens around. Yeah, so you guys, as you get a little closer and can hear a little better, um, it is definitely the sound of uh, the voice of a woman. And she seems to be just expletively like chewing you guys a new ass. Um, okay. Asking okay. what the hell you think you're doing and, you know, what business is it of yours to be out on the on the lake you know talking it's, to creatures and it's it's got, you're getting a real like it's called we, fishing ma'am she ignores anything that you say and continues to just just chew just chew oh, your ass so you don't want answers you're asking questions but no answers that's fine <laughs> um, excellent yeah and she she's are you guys continuing to um to head that way she I feel she, like the closer should. you get, the more hopping mad she looks. Oh. We can't hear you. We're gonna come closer. <laughs> you you maybe detected that she flipped you off. Oh, um, oh nice. But uh yeah, so okay, so yeah, again, as you guys as you get in, it's just more and more clear that you know, she's just kind of pacing back and forth on the shore, but she's she's aiming everything that she's saying at at all of you. Right, right. Um, uh, everybody get on, just be ready for shit to pop off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it got a popping off vibe? It's got, it's got, uh, it's got a, um, he flipped I, us off, my dear. Yeah, <laughs> like the, the, the one day you like, go to the grocery like store and the white like, ladies, she was like, like, like two handed at you. <laughs> so, yeah, once we get within, I don't know, pretty close range. I'm, I'm sorry, how many range. feet is that? You know, pretty close. <laughs> it's, pretty it's pretty close range. It's pretty close it's pretty, range. Pretty close. <laughs> okay, copy that. What are you going to do at pretty close range? Uh, I'm just going to cast Thanks. friends on myself. Why can't we be friends? Be friends. Why can't yeah. we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it only lasts mm -hmm. a minute, so like, I don't want to do it while we're still like... I see, okay. Now, that, yards out that way. Okay, that makes sense. You, with... Once you get to within a minute of reaching shore, you want to yes. cast friends on yourself. Okay. Yes, but like with some conversation time and you know how it goes. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, she, yeah, you can, you can hear better. Again, it, it is, it's exactly what you thought it was. 
Um, and you you hear her, you, it, you sons of bitches just out there. It, this lake and all of this land is protected by the Frost Maiden. What gives you the right to, to go meddling about in her business? I point at Delphi's uh, amulet. <laughs> Yeah, so we were just uh She's mad enough that she she kind of clocks that, but then like is right back into her tirade. But for a moment, she actually did pause. Um and and is a, uh, she's mad, but now she's got a little bit of a what? Kind of look in her face. Yes. I see they're just letting anyone join the ranks of Oreo these days. Yes. <laughs> if you're uh if you don't know who we are, that's your problem. Uh, we were tasked to just uh, check on our friend out here and make sure that he was keeping up his end of the deal. Um, so if you mm -hmm. have a problem with that, you can uh, take it up with uh, your superiors. Roll a deception with advantage. Ooh. I you I I cannot oh, believe you. Oh, yes, you use. yes, you what? Yes. <laughs> Do you know who you're speaking to? I have a twenty-four. <laughs> we don't care <laughs> who we're speaking to. <sighs> Do you, you know who you're speaking to, ma'am? Well, well, no, I suppose not. But obviously, I was, I was given, obviously. I was given the task to awaken oh, that beast, you? and uh -huh. I, I awakened that beast, and now I check on it every couple of days to make sure that it's doing her bidding and scaring everyone from Bremen off of the lake. And. Clearly, if you had been doing your job properly, so they wouldn't have called us to uh, to check your work. What'd you roll? A 24? 24. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 I mean, oh. she, she's hopping, hopping mad, but she doesn't know what to do. She, you spooked her with, that, with seeing the, the silver amulet and then the 24. You've seriously spooked her into... She wants to say some stuff, but she's she's reserving all of that lest she get her ass chewed like she's been chewing mm -hmm. yours. What kind of shoddy yeah. spellcaster are you anyway? They're lucky you're lucky they sent us because your uh, your work was slipping a bit out there. We had to uh to strengthen your uh your spell. You, strengthen uh make another deception check and I'll That's give you advantage fine. one more time on that. I have friends. I have advantage on all these anyway. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Double advantage. Strengthen my... I have never been so... It, it, that's, a, that's a 19. I have, I have never been treated such as... Uh, my magic works every time. It has no... Uh, no, I'm sorry. Really? Who'd you learn I, from? You know, what's really funny is I've... I'm looking at you guys on, on my map that I prepared, and I haven't moved you over because I just looked and saw you still on the lake. Um, uh, <laughs> new, uh, new stream runner. Who dis? Um, <laughs> oh, oh, uh, let's see. We'll close her up a little bit. She's on this side of the tree, just so it's better for the stream. Uh, is, I, what? Well, what do you mean? Who did I learn from? I, it's so. Yes, you're you're a, you're a self taught hedge witch. Are you? That's what I thought. I am not a hedge witch. I am a frost druid of the Frost Maiden Oriel. And she reaches in under her furs, because she is wearing furs, and she pulls out um, a, a silver pendant, just like the one that Delphina's wearing. Um, she pulls it out and brandishes it for you, and then stuffs it back into her... Uh, into her, her uh, hides. Call me a hedge witch. At least I have both of my arms. <laughs> That's offensive. He, oh, would you, he uh, gave his arm in sacrifice to the goddess. What did uh, you give? Ro roll a deception. Roll a deception with advantage, Delfina. <laughs> oh, oh, God. With advantage. Oh, I know, oh, but no. it's a negative one. Come on, 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 come on. Ten? Got two tins. Ugh. That's wild. That, that is wild. And man, I, I so want to give that to you, but I, I mean, it's a oh, ten. Come on, come, come on, on, come on. Man. It's cool. Uh, that's true. It is. It, it, well, I, 
I sacrificed enough. I, I, it's, I, it's not for me to speak about that, but you we, should you should we, know what I sacrificed. I don't. I'm the retainer on here, um, brought here to bring these people to you to clean up this mess. I would like to talk somewhere that's not out in the bitter cold, please. That we all love and worship. Why would you not want to be in the cold? I work for them. I he's, don't. He's just I'm on retainer. I'm on retainer. I, I'm always here with a bunch of with a bunch of magic wielding people helping them find their big old fish, and y'all got me out here in the cold. I don't get paid enough for this. When you say that, t- you hear Tali from behind you. Uh, uh, well, you know, uh, technically, he's not a fish. Um, I mean, it, one would one would say that. <laughs> Story for another time. <clears throat> um, the uh, the woman who is who has been yelling at you looks looks around, and so behind you there is just vast open lake, and behind her, all of this way, it's just vast. Uh, kind of barren, snowy, rocky land. And then she looks right back at you, Flynn, because now that you've said you're just a hireling and you're not someone who might get her in trouble, she's back on you. And she's like, Oh, good. No, this is fine. Where would you suggest we go that's not in the cold? Surely you must live (laughs) under a rock around here somewhere. Take us to your abode, please. I don't live around this backwater place. You must not be very dedicated to the goddess, then. Tali, you should make a note of that. What was your <laughs> name again? When we report back. <laughs> I'm sorry. Make a make a persuasion check with advantage on that. Okay, 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 okay. What does my charisma suck? Come on, come on. Oh, dear, dear. Not that one. Dear, not that's that right. one. right. You get one more. You got one more. Do a different one. Come on, one more. <laughs> come on, come on. Roll, come roll come a different on. one, because that was a four, come everyone. On. A ten again. You know what? You've rolled, you've rolled three elevens that turned into tens. I'm going to let you roll one more time, and it's whatever this next roll is. Because three can tens. Can I use a different? Oh, yeah, you can, use a, that. you can use a Kraken if you want. Kraken. <laughs> Yeah, what, so die. I'm gonna let her roll an actual Kraken live die, die and Kraken let's die. let's see what's gonna come up next is a a kraken. Oh, oh natural twenty, buddy. <laughs> I freaking hope so. That's an eighteen. I can move my camera to prove it with I my be- negative one. That is an eighteen. I believe you. Okay, I, I swear on my life that is a nineteen. Oh. <clears throat> Sonora. Can you please write that down, Tilly? Sonora? You, she is definitely kind of admonished now. So be- between the, the professor and his friendship and extraordinary roles and Flynn giving her, giving her the shit back and then you busting <laughs> out with that, that 18 on your <laughs> persuasion, she's definitely shamed. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Shame. I, I, was, I was doing what I was told. If the orders have changed, I have not been notified. Yes. Probably because you're out in the middle of nowhere. Look at this shit. Our, our poor hireling is, is suffering. Could, I'm if so you cold. don't mind, could you? I'm so cold. Could you show us your abode that we could uh, discuss matters more privately? Uh, I, it's three days Perhaps from here. Our ju- Perhaps it's three days from here where I live. I, 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 if he's cold now, he won't make it, but you're much closer I to Bremen. I can walk. I can walk. You're much closer to Bremen than, than to going to my to my house. It smells like uh, fish there. Do we... Uh, we have friends in Bremen that... Uh, do you mind going there? It's, mm, we're going to say that this is the last role you can use with friends. Oh yeah, no, just this, spells, I, just, this spells about the die. And yeah, so, this is uh, this is on the fifty nine and a half second mark of it. Um, make a persuasion with advantage. This is a big old swing. Uh, seventeen. Mm, 
No, I, I, there are other things I must do. But if, as you say, it's true that the orders have changed, I will, I will complete my tasks at hand, and and then I will check in to, to make sure my orders are up to date. Um, Gave you those orders. Well, the, the 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 priestess, of course. Which priestess? Surely you know that. There's there's levels of priestess. Well, of of course I do. Of course, and of course I know. Um, this uh, the priestess Hedron gave this Hedrin. to me. Hedron, and as she says those words, the spell ends. I'm definitely not writing down names I just made up. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> oh, nice. I can't make up fun names like that off the, you know. Never mind. Uh, I am uh, going to telepy. Telepy? I'm going to use my mind to talk. And, uh, <laughs> talk, to, uh, talk to Flynn and say, uh, so what do you think? We got everything? We letting her go? What's the call? We probably should, but we're going to get some shit for this later because she's going to talk. Yeah, no kidding. My spell end ended. She's going to know that I just charmed the pants off her. You. Me. Being no, she's pointing at the professor. <laughs> you call me. What was it? A brush witch? A hedge witch. Yes. A hedge witch. Hedge witch. Yes. And then you charm me? How much of anything that you said to me was true? Do you doubt this, Mark? Get her, Professor. All of it. I, it's, uh, I simply needed to make sure that you were in a, a position where you could understand what we were saying. I know with your folk, it's, uh, it can be quite hard to get through that thick skull of yours sometimes. Oh, you know what? I was going to let you roll a straight persuasion, but now roll one with disadvantage. <laughs> Ooh, I got a Kraken and a four, but it still brings my total to a tan. If everything that you told me was true, there would have been no need for you to charm me, no matter how thick my head is. You will all answer for this. Uh, mind spike. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, no fully. Before you said that, she was about to tighten up her her furs and head out. Um, please give me that mind spike. Um, do I, I need. Do I need to roll to resist that? Uh, wisdom save. A wisdom save. Um, how does a seven do? That's not it. <laughs> seven, seven's <laughs> not it. Oh, sorry, it rolled it twice. Um, so seventeen psychic damage. I meant to display. Oh my TT. goodness gracious! Seventeen. How do I display in TT? Uh, well. Uh, I know, I know her location until the spell ends, but while okay. only while we're on the same plane, uh, can't be hidden, can't be invisible. All okay. Jazz. Understood. Damn. Oh, me... So if she wants to leave at this point, mm. I will gladly let her go. And, uh, so know... I'll, I'll mind, I'll mind spike her, and I'll say, <laughs> for bitch, your, for, your, for your insolence. <laughs> For your insolence, but we're done with you. Be gone. I think that she's going to need you guys to roll a little bit of initiative. Hell yeah. Uh, All right. Let's hit something. All right. I really was <sighs> just hoping she would just go run, away. Just run so we could figure out where she's from. Make sure to select your token before you roll. And if you're going to roll hard dice, just tell me and I'll add you. No, I rolled a one. I did the Just thing. kidding. I want to roll hard dice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I rolled an eight. Can I use a different dice? Well, 
Well, uh, well you shit. you absolutely can on the next time. Um, so is that everyone? Which uh, Tali is going to make uh, epic sketches of this, but she unless unless you guys just get into dire trouble, um, she is not going to be of a lot of use here. Um, Zalvana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you not want to go first? I mean, I'm just like, shit, now I have to remember all the... Sorry for swearing. If that's a... That, I don't know what... Blah. Yes, because we talk, my... we talk like sailors when Ryan is running things, but when Buddy's running things, we're <laughs> like little church mice. Yes, mice of churches. I just... I'm like, oh, crap. My spells. I can't remember... Of my damn spells. All right. Um, you don't have to use a spell. You could run up and hit her with your shiny frostbrand rapier. I could. Wait, how far am I away from this hedge witch? <laughs> oh, man. You're uh, 30 feet. You could get to her and hit her. I could. I could. Or I could put her at disadvantage by casting fairy fire. You could, presuming it hits. Oh, no, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, fairy fire is actually a great, a great idea. Just remember, it's got to hit. I love me some fairy fire. I like fairy fire. All right. Um, so, all right. I'm rolling. It's a d20, right? Uh, well, no, it's a dex save for me. So mm -hmm. it's a DC, a DC okay. 15 dex save. Is that right? That says yeah, yeah. it says that on your sheet. Yes, dex save 15. Uh, how would a 10 do? Um, I need a 15. <laughs> That's my way of saying. <laughs> she did not. She did not make that. So no, remind Bonnie, me. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. No. Remind me again. Fairy womp, fire. Womp, womp. Um, All right. So blue, green or violet light. Your choice. Violet, obviously. Obviously. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give her a little, a little aura. And who's rolling next? Is Flynn your next, right? Uh, yes. Cool. I can. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you, um, some inspiration, some bardic inspiration. Oh hell yeah! And one d six of bardic inspiration. Do you say, <laughs> do you say anything specific to bolster him? Uh, show this witch what's up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Flynn. You gonna you, um, gonna you gonna show that this hedge witch what's up? Uh, hell yeah! Uh, because as soon as she says that, I'm gonna pull the crossbow off my back and like load it up. Um, I'm go I am gonna take a couple steps forward because I need to get into hidden distance in a minute. But I'll come to about here. Okay. And hit her with the with the crossbow. Let it fly. And that's with advantage because of uh fairy fire or Yep. Hell yeah. And that lasts the duration, right? That's not just the next attack. Yeah, yeah the duration, because it's not uh, what's it called? So one minute. So it's concentration, so don't don't get hit. Um yeah, 17 absolutely hits. So roll that damage. Oh, oh, and I think oh. just for a little sauce on it, I'm going to put the, the D6 on that as well. No, <laughs> because Alvana is a co ah. College of Valor bard. <laughs> he can use that that uh, inspiration to add as on the, damage. On the damage. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, anything else, sir? Um, <laughs> hey, hold on. Let me look at my action counter. You see what I got as a uh, that you know what? You know what? Um, hold on. Ooh. Can I can I do it? Can I do it? No, I'm not gonna do it now. Okay, okay, that's no, fine. Nothing else. All right, Delphina, right. Uh, how injured does she look? Uh, she, you would say she looks bloodied. 
she uh, she's not looking as nearly as good as when you first approached. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't want to waste a casting of spiritual weapon if she's going to go night night. So let's hit her with a firebolt. Okay. Is that I a hate these dice with every fiber of my being. That's an 11. Uh, I will tell you that it does not hit, but it, man, just just sings right past her face. Um, you're any closer and and you guys would be doing rollies. That's what I'll say. OK, nice. you know what? Rollies. Uh, Someone's been watching campaign three. Yeah. <laughs> So if I cast spiritual weapon with my bonus action, I can attack her with it? Or does that just call it forth? Nope. You may attack on the round that it is summoned. <laughs> okay. You know what? Screw it. We are going to. Remember that your uh, spiritual weapon is in the journal. You can drag it off. We are going to do that. I see my spiritual weapon. Pow! Make my own sound effects now. <laughs> I, you know, I'm glad you did. I didn't know that we were trying to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, you have advantage on the firebolt. So leave the spiritual weapon out for the moment. You okay. have advantage. I can't she's... put it back. But okay. That's all right. You, you have advantage because she's fairy fired. So roll, roll for the firebolt again. 12. And so <laughs> now, 12? so her AC is 12. So now you and I do a D20 roll off just straight. Straight rolls. And whoever's on top wins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I also got a seven. So let's Are do that again. I, I am serious. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me something Eleven. good. Eleven. Oh, okay. Ten. She, Damn it. She, she manages to, to, again, just barely escape. Uh, now we'll say that your, uh, your spiritual weapon is there. And... Spiritual weapon uh, gets advantage on the attack as well, I believe. I think all attacks, so. Mm -hmm. For the love of God, nope. that is an 11. You love that 11, though, man. Why? And these are the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden roll 20 d, &D things. You like, gotta get on. physical dice. You well, that's why, because got dice. That's cursed. Why. You know what? You gotta get them crack ons. Eat it! That is a natural 20, so a 26 to hit. Was that rolled in roll 20? Or, oh, okay. Here yep, it comes. You it was just, see it. It was there just it delayed. Oh, there it is. Man, oh, how many yeah. rolls are you, got, are you rolling? Well, she got advantage on it. I got advantage right. on this one. All right. All right. Yeah. <gasps> Don't you steal this from me. So <laughs> uh, hit All that the dam damage. Hit that damage. Okay. Uh, and I roll an extra thing for crit. Or no. Oh, I don't think she's set up to do the uh, the full damage crit thing. So yeah, just do this regular damage and then uh -huh. just add a d add an eight to it. D eight. No, not a d eight. Just a full an eight. eight. So 14, 14 points. Okay. I will smack her with uh, fourteen points of bludgeoning damage with a feather. Wapow! She right uh, upside the head. She for sure. Uh... She for sure is not looking good. Um, <laughs> anything else? I think that is all I've got on my turn. Now it is her turn. Um, my goodness. I Lee back to your whole hedge hmm. witch. You know, I think she's going to, instead of doing that, she's going to cast... Moonbeam. Um, one minute, three, so hold on, I gotta get a, gotta get a spell effect for it. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna. You know, I hate Moonbeam only because the description of the spell is so difficult. It's very yeah. ambiguous as to when the damage actually happens. Um, it's when you enter the spell for the first time or start your turn there. So she's going to cast yes. Moonbeam, but you guys will not take damage this turn. Yes. Um, Professor, you will take damage at the top of your turn coming up here immediately. Yes. Um, 
So it's a. I had one of my players like cast Moonbeam one time and like try to roll damage. I was like, no, technically the damage doesn't happen yet. And then I was like running the enemies and I just like dispelled his Moonbeam. Like before it came to any any of the other like monsters' turns, he's like, so my spell doesn't do any damage. I was like, I mean, no, sorry. He's like, this is bullshit. Like he was so pissed. Anyway. So she's gonna cast it. Um, well, I'm digging up a <clears throat> circle for it. I was trying to think if there's a better way to handle moonbeam damage, and I just I couldn't think of any good ideas. She's gonna put it. Oops. Right here, so that it'll fuck the three of you up. Uh, and that is going to be her turn. Um, I get a mark off a spell slot. Uh, so, Professor, it is your turn. And so you now take. Uh, you Ooh, must make a constitution a saving throw. Con save. Not great at those. Okay. I don't think it's this campaign that I have my cloak of resistance. So I think of just a straight roll. Nope, that's a six. Uh yeah, her spell save DC is 14. So you take 10 points of radiant damage. Cool, cool, cool. Uh and now it is your turn, sir. Right. Um Uh, I need a concentration check, darn it, for Mind Spike. Damn it. I rolled a four, and I only have a plus two. So, so Mind Spike falls off, unfortunately. Yeah, which is terrible, because I wanted to know where she went. Well, she ain't going nowhere at the moment. She's by that tree. <laughs> Don't worry, Professor, because she's about to go into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I wanted to just knock her out and let her like wake up and go home. I want to know who she answers to. We got a name. We can look it up later. We can look it at the <laughs> library. What are you thinking, friend? This isn't candle keep. Oh, that's true. Uh, all right, sure. Do we just want to finish? The Whatever, I get it back on a short rest. Let's dissonant whispers. <laughs> uh, wisdom save again. Uh, that's a 19, actually, on the wisdom save. Okay, so you take half damage. You take six psychic. Uh, six damage, you say? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. She doesn't look good. She is up, but but not by much. Um, are you uh, done with your? Uh, yeah, that's it. Zavana, I uh, need you to uh, make a Constitution save, please. DC fourteen is the number to beat. I mean, I suppose I probably should have moved out of the spell. Let's just move five. <laughs> okay. I was assuming this battle would be over by the time my turn came around, but let's not assume. Oh, actually, I got to hold on. I got to roll a concentration save for her. Uh, Yeah, Moonbeam's still up. Zalvana? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot I had myself muted. Um, That's okay. I barely made it and made a 15. <laughs> Uh, okay, so then you'll take half damage. Um, we'll use the damage that I rolled before, so that's five points of radiant to you. Um, and you need to make another con save to see if Fairy Fire stays up. Ugh, booty. I don't know. I have to roll a 15? No, you have to get above a 10. Oh. I got a 9. Is that is that have your your plus in it? Ah, yeah. wait, sorry. For your con save. Oh, for constitution save. But see, see, I told you, I forgot how to play this game. That's all right. Um, <laughs> if you rolled a nine, um, then almost anything is going to give you the, yeah, the, what you need to 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 make it. Yeah, so. I got a plus two for constitution. Yeah, yeah, you're good. So yeah, fire fire still 11. up. So okay, it cool. is it is Ooh. your your turn. 
skin of my teeth. All right. Um, I would say moving out of Moonbeam is probably not a bad idea. Yeah. Just moving five feet out of it. Don't make my mistakes. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Yep, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Although she can move it on her turn, so. Oh wait. She can, but you have to start your there. turn there. Yeah. I'm just gonna scooch over a little bit there. That's nice. It just. Yeah. Um. I had my spell I'm... effect on top of you, so. Um, that's why you couldn't move. Got it. Um. All right. So from here. I mean, mm. all right, I'm still, <laughs> uh, I'm so mean. Um, all right, so all right, screw it. I'm going to do it. Um, all right, so I'm going to bring around my crossbow. Mm, yeah, you and... are. <laughs> Um, you have advantage on this, so. Yeah, well, uh, oh, it's wait, sorry, because my brain is is dumb and can't remember things. Nope, nope, it's, you're fine. I, I do, I do a roll twenty plus. So your plus. cross, your crossbow is plus six to hit. Uh huh. So it's whatever so, you rolled plus six. Plus six, so nineteen. But I would go ahead and roll your twenty again because if you get a twenty. And that's a critical, and you get to double your damage, or you get the the max. You get no, extra. I got, I got, I got a ten that time. Okay, so, so nineteen for sure hits. So now you roll the damage on that, which is one d six plus four. One d six plus four. God, they dressed this game up to not be math, but it's totally just math. <laughs> oh, it's nothing but math. Nice. Right. <laughs> oh, cool! I got a six. Uh, so ten. So, if you would, tell me what this looks like. So, like, I, like, I move over, I, like, whisk around. Oh, no, I have my, my crossbow is, like, on my arm. So I just, like, look her dead in the face and, like, raise my arm and be, like, just like a little shrug. <laughs> guess, you, guess you shouldn't have started some shit. Oh. Uh, and... <laughs> it uh right in the chest it it finds its uh it finds its home just right into the chest you said yeah right into the chest and she looks down and you see the blood start to pour out on the the fur that she's wearing and then begin to drip down on the snow and she just looks at all of you and falls over backwards and then I bring over like my drum and do like shot through the heart and you're too blame. You can't. <laughs> do you actually do this? As <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I haven't sang in a while. I just I'm feeling I, it. I'm into it. I'm into it. Uh, all right. So she is expired. Um, Anything else we have to do here or is are any of her furs salvageable? <laughs> um uh, they're yeah, salvageable but they're her pockets. They're salvageable but they're not they're not super super high quality. Um Professor roll me um 2d10 and tell me what the numbers are individually please. Not that one. I didn't want that one anyway. Let's get a different one. That one's on the floor. I got a two and a three. So you find two gold, three silver on her. And she also has uh, a staff. A wooden, a wooden staff. All right. So adding that gold and silver to party funds. Uh, any other, uh, shenanigans we want to get up to with, uh, this, with this body? Um, oh, no. <laughs> she, you, she said she was a druid, right? So she wouldn't mm -hmm. have had a, uh, a spell book or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, you did not find a spell book on her, no. Any amulets? Uh, other than I, her little snowflake? I mean, there, there's the silver snowflake just like yours. I'll take you, that. 
Okay. I feel like, I, I feel like we're, yeah. Um, yeah. I also want to put the body in the in the water. Ooh, cold blooded. I, yeah, I, yes. It's disrespectful. It's it's, uh, I, it's it's not difficult. You can uh, you can easily easily do that. Yeah, I'm like, all right, may the ice maiden forgive you or watch over <laughs> your stuff or whatever. Eldith El- bless you. <laughs> uh, okay, you uh, you slide her right over into the drink. <laughs> night, night. Night, night. Ooh, let's head back. Uh, all right, so in the interest of uh, brevity, this, I'm sorry, go ahead. This staff, um, as we walk, can I can I tell if it's magical in and of itself or was it more of a spell focus um hard to tell in in kind of the walking and the boat stuff back um cool read read into that we'll we can discuss that in the off week sounds good um in the interest of brevity uh we're gonna say that you guys make it back to the buried treasure um the well, to to Lee walks you back there and, and thanks you the the entire time, and she reaches into her 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 pouch her various pouches, and she's this 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 is all that that I managed to, to to scrape up and she hands you out eleven gold. Eleven. Um, it's like this is this is what I what I was able to find in the the couch cushions. Um, well, is this your money? Well, 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 yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't get paid for for the research, really. Do you I, have uh, money to eat? Uh, oh, oh, you know, I'll I'll find something. But uh, people, people always want research, right? I will give. I'm I'm giving her my my cut of of this. <laughs> I'm giving my share back. Uh, it's it's okay. You don't have to pay me anything. Yeah, same. Professor just looks at his gold. I I know I know. That's why I didn't. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Do you keep yours or you give you give no I give it back she uh she tries to to say something two or three times and just she can't manage it out she's on the verge of tears and uh, just she, remember she find- especially especially with that last part there that not all research need be need be published we might want to keep some things quiet I know I know Oriel has some strong opinioned followers in the area they might not approve of all of our activities uh, of, of course that uh, you i never thought of it that way but but i think you're you're exactly right it if anything if any harm were to come to to freddie because of something that i had written and and told also about, we just like murdered one of her pre- or druids priestess ladies like let's not uh, you know, <laughs> put that the research, you don't want to be the research to that. that I have says that she attacked you first. And a smile Somehow, creeps across her face. I don't <laughs> think even like, sure. But I mean, I don't know if they'll care. But yeah, anyway, I get it. Yeah, appreciate it. She, uh, Delphi, this is the instance in which we won't take the money, right? If, you, because we helped. Exa- exactly. Use, use discretion. But if they're yeah, an no, asshole, we would, we would take the take gold. Them. Yeah, we would take the money. Take, take the money. No, why would we? We don't need food. Uh, <laughs> well, I technically have more gold than her because I have 16 of them. And if she only has 11 and she gives it all to us, that seems kind of selfish. You're totally right. Um <laughs> You know what's bad? We didn't even catch any fish, Flynn. You didn't catch fish. Oh yeah, let's. We're not even gonna go into how mad Grinsk is, but he's so he got dr- his boats back. But he's so drunk that like his yelling at you isn't really even coherent or cogent, and no. you're not super sure he's yelling at you. He might be yelling at a barrel that he thinks is you. Um, he's he's kind of beyond the pale, thinking he was gonna get a good payday out of you guys. Great. We'll just drop the keys and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So you, you uh, T- Tilly says says goodbye and says that she she may see you tomorrow at the at the inn, and she heads off down toward you know where she came from. Must must be her her domicile is down there. Uh, and you guys make your way back to the buried treasures. 
Is this Cora's place? It is. Um, you you come in and <clears throat> Cora is sitting there at the table where you had breakfast, and she's very she's very nervous and and fidgety. And she starts and and looks at you as you enter. <laughs> oh, oh, thank thank goodness, thank goodness, you're back. <sighs> um, did it, everything go go well today? Yeah, and relatively. For yeah. the most part. Good. Good. We um, need to take I, down one of Oriel's druids. Uh, oh, that must have been uh, quite an ordeal. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let, let me give you some tea. And she's you, you can you can all tell without making you roll for it that she's she's definitely kind of in in a little bit of shock, kind of like going through the motions kind of. But she goes set to work about putting the kettle on to to make you all some tea. Cora, what's wrong? Uh, mm, mm, um, what? W what's wrong? She, she sets the kettle down. If a few hours after you left, uh, Xander and I made some soup for lunch. Um, Fariel said that she felt better and 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 left uh, to to go find all of you. We um. A few minutes later, we, we heard the front door open, and I looked to see who it was. There were two two human women there. One of them very curtly demanded at me, Where are your boarders, madam? I told them I wasn't sure, and that I, uh, I only rent rooms. I don't manage people's plans. Xander had dropped behind the counter with a kitchen knife and was ready to spring into action if they advanced on me. Well, maybe we'll just... Wait here for their return. And the the other one just seemed more unpleasant, sneered. And she said, they aren't here, Prue, but they can't be that far away. Fine. Good day to you. And they, they walked out and they, they slammed the front door. Xander ran upstairs. He grabbed his coat and his sword and asked me if there was a back door. And, and I showed him. And he said, lock the doors and tell the others about this. I'm... I'm going to watch them and see where they go. Then he silently slipped out the back. And suddenly I heard, it sounded like fighting just right outside the front. I, 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 I didn't know what to do. I hid in the kitchen. I, I, it only lasted a few moments and, and I ran to the front window, but the, the, there was no one there. I've, and I've just been sitting here waiting for all of you to return. Some, something I'm unfortunately very good at and she turns and is is back into trying to you focus mean, on making tea you mean xander didn't return uh no not as of yet and the fact that she isn't with you means that Fariel didn't find you i mean no we were on the on the lake um Which direction did Xander go? Um, uh, I, out out the back door. I'm I'm not certain from from there, but the the fighting was was right outside the right outside the front door. So he he must uh, have he must have slipped outside. around. Okay, sure. Um, uh, out the front door toward the or maybe uh out the back door. I'm gonna follow his footsteps out the back door. Okay. So, why don't you give me an investigation check? You know what? Actually, you've got a pretty high passive investigation. You've got a 17 passive investigation. Yeah, it, uh, investigation is what I do. So, it, um, while it has been, uh, you know, snowing like it always does here, the, the buildings are, these buildings are kind of close-ish together, so these, the prints haven't been affected very much, but it, it definitely seems like you see footsteps that are very slow and measured taken. And right as you get to the front of the building, kind of onto the main street, there's just a, a mass kind of jumble of snow. Um, looks like maybe there was an altercation. Um, with a 17, you, you do see a couple of small drops of blood, but not, not like a puddle or anything. Um, definitely seems to bear out her story that there was some sort of altercation. No sign of where they went. No, roll an investigation on that. 
I'll have I'll make you roll on that one. Damn it. Uh, twelve. Yeah. So the you see the, you know, obviously there his footprints coming in to kind of the scuffle and, and, maybe there are footprints coming from the front of the buried treasures and then maybe kind of in a flanking position, but um, they don't there don't seem to be footsteps heading out of this area or drag marks or anything. Um, a little bit similar to something you guys had seen in East Haven um, when Suffolk Kelto had attacked the, uh, the speaker there. So maybe some sort of teleportation magic or, or uh, Misty Step or something. Yeah, Misty Step is what I was thinking. What are the rest All of right. you doing while the professor is searching outside? I'm going to cast Calm Emotions on Cora to make her feel better. Okay. She, um... I don't know that she feels better, but she she's less... She's definitely less nervous, and, and she's, she's fretting less. Um, and every time she sees you, she, she does try to manage a, a little bit of a smile, and just kind of reaches out and touches you on the cheek um, and goes to, again, making making tea. Um, and you know, there's like a plate of crackers, just some, some light snacks. Sometimes I think things and I'm like, damn, Professor, because I'm like, wow, like how uselessly kind. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, was like I was like, that's not a great. You can't say those things, <laughs> Professor. <laughs> Uh, Flynn oh, God, and Xander. Um, I don't know. I don't have like I don't have like much for like investigation. Or you know what? I'll um. I mean, you guys can talk to Cora. You can just eat some crackers. I mean, I'm not <laughs> pressuring you into doing something. I'm just asking if there's something you'd like to do. We are coming to the close here, so nothing. Nothing I can think of right now. Okay, Zalvana. Um. um... Yeah, my investigation is kind of meh. So, um, but it, yeah, I'll st I'll stay here. Okay. All right. So the professor, you finish up and and come back inside, and uh, you may tell them what you found, or you may not. It's up to you. Um, I I mean, I'll just tell them that that yeah, there was a a scuffle outside and some blood, but I couldn't tell which way they went off. Or where Xander might be. What about Fariel? I mean, have you ever tried tracking that one? Yeah, fair. she's like a ghost. You're not wrong. Yeah, I, I think the like if I, she'll find us. Yeah. Uh, yes, of, of course, of of course she will. They they'll they'll both find you. Um. Um. I you know one there was a there was something else the the one that spoke uh who who the second one called Prue she had uh, some sort of little creature uh flirting or flitting around her um it, it almost seemed like a like a snake but uh, but but snakes don't fly do they Oh, um, a flying uh, dragon. I mean, they certainly could. Oh, uh, but oh. I mean, it, it, I mean, it's certainly d uh, not that I guess I've ever seen an actual dragon, but it certainly looked more just like a snake with with little little wings on its little back. Little wings and, on and, its back, and it was and it was green. Uh, um, I don't know if that means anything. Um, yeah, this means a little bit. Can we have we have we heard anything like this before? Yes. Is there we a have. history a history or a nature check we can make? Oh wait, we've met someone. There it is. The there it is. Yeah, yeah. There it yep. is. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Jinx. The by by the looks of things, there's there's a blizzard uh, gathering. Um, why don't why don't you all go upstairs and and rest, and I'll I will have dinner on the table in in an hour or so, and um, and and you can you can tell me all about your your lake adventures. Um, but I I don't know that you're traveling anywhere tonight. The other two will just have to find their own. Own shelter. Yes. Uh, I will let everyone know that, like, 
yes, whoever it was seemed to also use like Misty Step or some kind of teleportation magic okay. to get out of there. So similar MO to what we've seen before. Although so, we we believe that we've killed the cold-hearted killer. True. So it's weird that someone else is using his tactics. I mean, it's a good spell, so maybe it's just that. Uh, okay, so you guys head upstairs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so upstairs, uh, Fariel is, obviously is gone. Her, her equipment rig is gone. Um, on the bed, though, Xander, Xander's backpack is there. Cora told you he, he grabbed his sword and his coat and fucking skedaddled. And so, uh, his, his backpack and his sword belt is there. Um, even his dagger is there. Um, he left without his stuff. Man, this is not. Well, yeah. And again, he was, he was just going to follow them. And then come back was was what Cora intimated to you. Um, I'm opening up some journal things for you all. Um, there's sorry, it's there's so many things. Uh, oh, Delphi, you know what? This The crystal pendant here that I'm opening up is... It's yours. We had given that to you already. I just didn't have its journal entry open. Uh, there's the red hot whetstone that you guys had gotten from um, uh, Azar's Bazaar after mm -hmm. you slew Sephic Kalto and Torga Icefane. Um... So I have to reappropriate that. Um, Professor, you actually noticed something. There's a a small stone, small kind of reddish pink stone uh, with a note that Xander has left with it. And you remember that stone. You remember clearly now that when you sat down at the bar, you had mm -hmm. you had seen a stone on the bar right before you did the whole switcheroo change places thing. And the other three of you remember that after Cora had salted the professor, um, you found a stone clutched in his hand and Zalvana, you mage handed it out into a little pouch. Uh, Xander has identified that it seems like, um, and it is called an Anderson stone and we can go, we can go into the depths of that, um, the specifics of it later. Um, uh, prof so do you guys go through his bag at all? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then the, there's a Xander's equipment shows what's in his bag. Um, professor, I'm going to open up something just for you, but I will tell everyone there is, you, you recall that in East Haven, you guys found a little red spell book. <clears throat> that belonged to the mage that they burned up in Bryn Shander, I think. Or, no, in East Haven, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's Dazan's spellbook, Professor. Okay. And uh, there's a, a little white book in his bag that is all written in, seemingly in Elvish. Um, let me get that one opened up to you guys. You guys can look at this stuff through the week. We don't have to do anything with any of it right now. Is that, um, so there's the Zan spellbook, and then is that, uh, Xander's specific spellbook? The white book is not his spellbook. Um, okay. do you read, do you read Elvish? Well, let's check. You do not. I know you do not. No. <laughs> Yet. There's, Yet. there is, right now, there's only one person in the room with you that reads Elvish. Uh, and that's Flynn. It's Flynn. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to read Elvish. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just like looking at it. Like, it be. I'm just like, I'm just looking at it reading like, uh-huh. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> <you can, laughs> so you can ask Flynn what the title of the book is. Um, and there's definitely more to unpack there. Yeah, yo, but, Flynn. But Flynn, you, is this 
you absolutely what recognize the, at the bottom there the the, the symbol. Um, I'll put that up for the stream. Uh, it definitely is is on Xander's the the handle basket handle of his rapier, and it in a much smaller version is on the dagger that he left on the bed. Oh. Um, and around the edge of it, it says House of Still Mist. And you, reading Elvish, can see that the title of the book... On the method of the Blade Singer. I thought the last word said Blade Singer. And you all know that that was Xander's specific um, wizard focus was Blade Singing. Mm -hmm. There's more to unpack on that, and we can unpack all that later. But I'm trying to get the stream done so I can let one of my players go, because she's got to work early in the morning. So what I will say is this. Uh, please mark yourselves for a long rest. And during this week, players, all of mine, please level up to Hell level yeah. five. Woo! Yeah. Hell Congra yeah. Congratulations.